Ahoy hoy! I am Plenowalk, and welcome to another Lurfia development stream. This time with a twist. Uh, I like making things twisty. Um, how twisty this becomes? Uh, let's hope it becomes very twisty. Uh, let me just switch over to things. Switch over to the right things. That would be nice if I actually did that. Um, so yeah. How many people do we have? We've got a turtle. A turtle carrying the earth on its back. And obviously, yeah, the elephants. It's not just the earth. It's the elephants that hold... It's really the turtle carrying the elephants carrying the earth. Like... And obviously the earth carries the dome, so. And the dome carries God, or, or something like that. I, I have no idea what the flat earth model is these days. All I know is that I've been trying to at least help the flat earthers. Uh, you know. By the way, Sibi, you should jump on stream. I have, I have a game for you to, specifically for you to play. Because, you know. So, I have been... Yesterday... Well, I should mention the reason why I did not stream yesterday and instead moved it back to today is because I was way too tired to do any kind of streaming yesterday. Just... Take... Sleep deprivation to the net to the next level, and then you've got how tired I was. Uh, even though I, even though I did get sleep, the amount of sleep that I got in, what, 48 hours? Was... probably a few hours. And the reason for that is I was involved in a game jam. Um, it was a nice little game, let me... Del breaks into Danny's basement. Um, not that twisty, I guess. Let me just oh, ahoy hoy, um, Jelly Lorem. So yeah, I was working on this game for forty-eight hours. Uh, I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of a. Teaser of it. I oh, hold on. This is gonna blast my blast everybody's eardrums out. Oh, I better turn it down because you know. That's a fun little. That's a fun little thing. I don't want to play it for too long because I, you know, it's, I don't want to give away everything to do with the game, you know. And then Unity is uh, not playing too well with, you know. Oh, there we go, it's doing something at least. Unity takes ages to do anything, really. Might not help that I haven't touched Unity in... Probably at least 24 hours. Hold on, when was... 6 a.m. Oh, there we go. So yeah, it's a nice little game. So if I go start game... My, uh, maybe it's because I'm screen recording. It seems kind of jittery. It wasn't like this when I was working on it, trust me. Probably because I'm screen recording that it's so jittery. It should make sense.
But yeah, this is this is a fun time making this game. There are a few few things with it. But yeah, that's what. That's. Oh, I'm not gonna because it's only like got three different, technically four different areas, but one of them you don't really do much in. So t seeing as it's got about three different areas, I'm not going to give away too much of even area one. You're going to have to go play it yourself, and if you want to go play it, my, uh, play, play it myself, I've already played it myself. Um, you should go play it yourself. But if you want to go play it yourself, I'm going to put a link in the description to it so that you can go ahead and play it yourself. Oh, it's a game that I made in 48 hours. So... That's... This is... No, it's not the merge game. TV, you should um, join the stream so that... Uh, and then play the game on stream. Oh, I really want to get... I really want to get someone's reaction in real time because it has a few it has a few things to it. And it, it's one of the things which for 48 hours <laughs> I think we did bloody well. Oh, that would be even better if you're half awake. Because being half awake and playing this game... <laughs> you know... Uh, yeah, well, things... Jeez. What do you mean this is horrible? The correcting to an emoji or having to play a game while you're half awake? I mean, I don't know if I'm fully awake. I've been drinking a whole lot. Okay, yesterday I had uh, a hell. Oh, okay. Yesterday I had a hell of a lot of um water. Yet despite that. I, um, um, yeah, um, despite that, I had a raging headache throughout the day. So, it got so bad that any, every time I moved, I felt, uh, nauseous. At one point, I went to the toilet because I thought that I was going to throw up. It went, like... Half an hour just waiting to throw up. Then I didn't throw up, fortunately. Because that would have probably been some water that came, came up. Um, still have no painkillers. And I still have a slight headache. But it's getting better. So that's like a plus. I, I got some food and that fixed it, kind of. I need more food. It sounds like a migraine. Might have been. Didn't have any painkillers for it though. And we've got... And the Jord said, ahoy hoy, Jord. Yeah, one second. I probably sound like crap right now, so give me just a second to fiddle with my uh, audio. Okay. So yeah, um, I have no idea what it was um, I have no idea what it was from. I the headache could have been from spending, you know, close to forty-eight hours awake. Um, or it could have been from uh, lack of food, because it did kind of go away when I finally decided that I'd get some food. 
Um, I don't know whether it was from having a hot chocolate. Uh, the smell on my hair didn't help. Like, normally I would have gone, oh, my hair smells pretty nice. But no, uh, the smell on my hair doesn't help, so I'm not getting that particular conditioner again. Um, so... Do I sound better now? Yes, you do. Alrighty, perfect. Hey, Planner, how you been? Good. It's been a while. You are the perfect guinea pig. Oh, oh perfect. Yeah. Uh, let me uh, get your uh, stream back up, because apparently that closed. My computer's been running slow recently, and I don't know why. Oh, it's going to play something. No, let's not do that. Oh. Let's play some YouTube videos. BV, that's actually a good idea. I need a bong, though, uh, if I'm going to smoke weed. Uh, really do. Because otherwise, I'm... I just do not feel anything from it. But that, uh... Uh, smoke a blunt, man? Blunt to the... F oh, you probably couldn't roll one. Otherwise, I just oh, do oh, the... Yeah, I can hear There that. was plenty in the background. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. I, I clicked on the... Uh the stream to pop out the chat so I could see what chat was doing. Yeah. And then come back to Discord. Oh, you're not showing anything in Dis Discord. Okay. Yeah. I am going to send you a link. And I'll, I really want to get your reaction to this. Is this a new Flurfia build or? No. <laughs> This is a game that I made in 48 hours, which is the reason why I didn't stream today. Essentially, it was a team of about five people. I think we had a sixth person at one point, but they um, didn't really do much in the grand scheme of things. So uh, you'll need to screen, uh, sh screen share your screen. Uh, I gotta download the source files, I think. Is that what I gotta do, or what? How do I get this game? I, I'm not very computer. Uh, oh, just the executable file. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah, ex oh, executable, okay. Yeah. Okay, save that, and then we'll ha I'll probably have to unzip it, right? Um, yeah, you will. Would you like to purchase Winrar? <laughs> I I uh, do not like Win. I I absolutely hate .dot uh, rar files because they are so annoying. Um, okay, so now that I did it, it should just be in my uh, what's it called, right? And my sorry about my dogs. One second, let me go see what they're on about. I'll be right back. Whilst he's off doing that, I shall not open that. I shall go back to here because this is something that needs a bit of work. Let me play what I've currently got. So I've downloaded it. I'll go to my downloads. Probably just that, right? And then the Unity file. I, the exe file. Yeah, I, I downloaded the exe file, I yeah. opened it, now I have a folder called Shutter Museum, now open yeah. that. And it should be a uh, application file or .exe. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Uh, I, I'm not sure, oh yeah, hey, game is playing, alrighty. Alright, do you want to share your screen? Yes, yeah, share my screen, we'll figure it out. Sorry if this goes two FPS for you guys. Is this con does this have controller support? A little bit. <laughs> okay. We're gonna have to see how this works out, cause I'm not a very great mouse and keyboard guy. It looks like the local museum. How did I get here? It's good questions, man. Okay, let's see. What's that? Oh, I guess I can't click on nothing. Maybe this? That seems... Oh, there's a light over here. 
game design. <laughs> yeah. The Caesar cipher. It shifts the letters of the alphabet, so Caesar would become Bizderzizkik. Activate the paintings, but only if the letters in their name have been shifted by one. Open the eyes. You know, I just did something like that. Uh, T nope, that, that one's not it. Cancel. Oh, I have to click. That I see what you mean, how it kind of has controller support. But other things you can't. I have uh, no idea how Stone George is. <laughs> insert modern art. Um, I mean, I'm usually, but actually not right now. Um, Z, Q, R, S, T. I, yeah, this one is. This one is shifted by one. Oh, God. So scary. Very. That is some... Um, that is some imagery right there. I, I like that. I like that. Um, does that mean I got it right or I got it wrong or did I do bad or good? I guess still can't look at those. I really like the design of this character though. She really, or they really, <laughs> I guess. It, it, I, I say she because she's got long hair as I sit here with long hair. Um... Are there any more paintings that I missed? Uh, the character was specifically oh, yeah, designed. Yeah. Uh, that's a muscle man. Oh god. Um. What? Well, um. Body built. I. I don't know what. You. T. Or, I don't know. I, I'm gonna say that one's not. Because I don't know good enough. Yeah, we specifically designed the character to be, um... To, What's to the be, word? Uh, non-gendered. Yeah, right. Uh, there's a word for that. I can't remember it, though. Uh, you know what? I'm a, I'm a go on a leap, and I'm gonna say, yeah, this one. Even though I have no idea what it means. Oh, probably not. I probably did a mistake. Or maybe I... Maybe the first one was a mistake and those creepy eyes weren't supposed to happen. Oh, jeez. There's a glitch. <laughs> oh, that was a glitch? Oh, no, no, no. The uh, I just realized there's a glitch with the enter button above your head. <laughs> it's just oh, oh, yeah, weird. yeah, yeah. T uh, what? <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, as in, just press cancel. Okay, okay. I, oh, I see what happened, I see what happened. Um, I probably was... It was waiting to run the, uh, thing for when I hit A for back here. That was the puzzle for this one, I'm pretty sure. So, probably when I hit active... Well, cancel... What? See, like, the thing doesn't show up? You know what I mean? The letters don't show up. Yeah, that's I really have... confusing. Why the letters aren't showing up. Why would uh, that be? <laughs> that is my question. I broke your game, Planner Walk. <laughs> um, we're gonna... I think maybe can I go do something here now? No, no. Door's still locked. See, this is wrong. I know that... Oh! Okay, there we go, because T is sur surrounded by S and U, so it can't be, and those are trees. So that's why I'm saying I know that one's wrong. And then I'm pretty sure this one over here was right, because, oh, because A is one away from Z, R is one away from Q, and uh, S is one away from T. Art. See, it, it didn't do that last time either. I don't think it said art down there. I think that might have been maybe the glitch. I don't know. Speaking of what you guys said earlier, I'm going to partake in something that's legal in my state. <laughs> uh, so 
So now maybe I go back to here? Okay. And then activate? No. See, that must be wrong. I, li I like making her Michael Jackson shuffle to the side. <laughs> yeah. That was actually something that... Because uh, when I was working on the game, there was a time when it was going backwards. Yeah. Alright. So... And so it was... The art it like they were moonwalking. Right. Yeah. Moonwalking. Oh, yeah. Oh, I could see... I see if you could make her walk... Make him walk... Kinda like that, a little bit, I don't know. Uh, there's nothing here. So, Art is right, the muscle guy is wrong, I don't get what that was supposed to be. Uh, maybe go back to here now? Since I found it? The Caesar Cipher, it's just a uh... That just repeats itself. Yeah. Just in, I get what I get what you need to do that just in case somebody like you know Yeah. The open the eyes. Uh E E. Why are E and E capitalized? Uh, this is too much stuff. This is why this is what I struggle with in D D too. Puzzles. <laughs> Logic puzzles. I like how there's something that you didn't notice there. Uh, on the... For this? No. <laughs> Not for that. There's something I didn't notice here? Oh, jeez. You're gonna... Oh, hey, there we go. What? <laughs> That's because... Okay. okay, I think I've figured out with... Yeah, there's like one issue with this game slightly. Yeah. I, I'm really... Can I do anything here? Ah, uh, no. Nothing here. Maybe go back to the eyes. Open the eyes. Nope, okay. Yeah, I realize, I realize now that that should have given... Um... Should have given extra hint. Yeah, uh, always, always include the George factor, which is you <laughs> may have an extremely dumb player who doesn't get it, and you don't want to lock them off to the rest of the game because they're just a little stupid. Is it this? This? Did I miss this? No. Oh, specifically and talks I... about paintings. Yeah, the the, and there's the glitch again. Okay. Oh. Oh, what? Okay. That's weird. Oh, that's a weird glitch that you're getting there. Don't know why. <laughs> it's because I broke your... Uh, anything, everything I touch breaks. If it's possible for something to break, if when I touch it, it will. Ah... Uh, I guess the only one I haven't activated is trees. Oh, I guess that one was right. Hmm. Oh, I see. I get it. I get it. One, that one was one, this one was two, and then the other one will probably be three, won't it? It'll be off by three or something. Activate. Waited. That is... That's... I like that. I like that. I want to have that as a monster that I fight <laughs> in this game. But I feel like I won't be doing a lot of fighting. Yeah, this is not really a fighting game. As much as I'd have liked to have made it a fighting game, it's not. Oh, I see what's what gross is about this. The uh, eyes on the tree. I see. I didn't really see it at first because I'm very unobservant. I like this walk cycle. It feels very like, oh god, please don't touch me, please get away, you know? Oh, ooh, what's this shiny? Obtained a monster key.
Thank you for not hitting me, Mr. Knight. <laughs> there's another key back there, but there's a shiny. Yeah, we didn't hide the keys very well. <laughs> there's yeah. like the one key that was hidden very well is the joke key. <laughs> The skill. Oh, I, I skipped right through it, through that. We have to go away. Read it. Re oh, I see. Oh, okay. Three keys reveal the way. The skeletons watch. The knight defends, and the height advantage. He's here. Oh God. I guess this is the skeletons watch. Cause I don't. I feel like I already got the night defense. The moon key. Because of that key, we added the joke key in. Oh. See, I I feel like if you if you could have made them uh, if you if you could have made that uh hall a little longer, and if you could have made the key not so like bright, yeah. You know? Yeah, that would have. Oh. Made... I see why it's the skeleton's watch. I get it. Or maybe that was the height advantage. I don't know. And I obtained the fall key. Do I get to fall now? No. That, um, that'd be so fun to animate, though, this character, like, falling through the sky. Like, just with the hoodie flapping and, yeah. Yeah. Didn't really have time to put many more animations in though, because 48 hours to design a game isn't a whole lot. Right. That's, uh, the fact that you can do this nowadays just astounds me. Mm. Like, this would have been good shit for a AAA title, you know? Like, back... I don't know how many years ago, but... Yeah. Like this, this sort of game is one of it's like a really. Uh, how do I put it? Oh, <laughs> that's that's not how that door's supposed to work. But okay. <laughs> oh, that's the spooky. Will you hurt me, or can I say hi to you? Oh, you disappear. Oh, that's spooky. Enjoy the calm out, quote unquote, outdoors. He will take care of you. I O. He loves you. He low o. I I I don't. Hello, I don't know. His eyes love you. This is just the uh, SpongeBob mocking text, you know the. <laughs> <laughs> love him. He's here. Open the eyes. I feel like I shouldn't be opening the eyes. I I want to run away. I'm running away. <laughs> run away, please. I don't want to open any eyes. As you can see, my eyes behind my bangs are firmly closed. More paintings. Hey, that, that, oh, that. I kind of look like I'm part of the painting now. <laughs> Mommy and Daddy. <laughs> oh, God. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> uh, What's that? I don't want... I feel like if I spend any more time looking at that blue painting, you're gonna get demonetized, so let's move on. Oh, there was a monster in here. I shouldn't... I shouldn't have... Uh... And that's the end of the game. Oh! I like the atmosphere of that. I, I know I, I know I played it off, I made jokes the whole time, but I really did enjoy the atmosphere. It felt spooky. The only reason I was making jokes was as a defense mechanism, because <laughs> spooky spoopiness. But yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. 
Yeah, it's one of the games which, as I said, made in 48 hours. If I could have added more, I would have. Uh, there were plans yeah. to add a, another level uh, with the um, with the uh, Caesar Cipher thing. The yeah. reason why I didn't is just ran out of time. I spent probably an hour uh, trying to work on the ending there where the camera zooms in. Because mm -hmm. making the camera zoom in and sort of rotate was pretty surprisingly difficult <laughs> I, I can only imagine honestly but yeah I, I I really liked it I hey that's where I that painting I thought I saw that somewhere before it was right here I was gonna say hey I've seen that somewhere before but I didn't recognize it so I didn't want to say that <laughs> mm. so that's what I that's what I've been working on in the weekend um but now that uh now now that i am no longer working on that the 48 hours is over it's time to go back to flurfy <laughs> yeah but, um that, that, I thought you were sending chat. me a new flurfy build i was gonna be like yeah i haven't seen that since i haven't played that since i formatted my hard drive but for everyone in chat, um, if you want to play that game that I was just showing, it's in, the link to it should be in the description, I hope. Did I put a link in the description? Yes, I did. I'll go check. Oof. So, Children's getting our schools. Okay, so it's... So I need to work out something... No, it's not Flurfia. Flurfia is a different game. Um, like, if that yeah. was... If that was Flurfia, um... Oh, wouldn't... Flurfia would be nowhere where it is right now, because... That game was made with the help of like four other people, four five, yeah. other, four five ish other people, um, over the course of forty eight hours. Yeah, and and like I said, uh, some of the imagery, man. I, I think that was my favorite part. Was uh, in that first painting scene, in the first room, seeing those paintings turn grotesque. Uh, I think even though I didn't notice it at first, my favorite one has to be the, uh, the, uh, eyes in the, uh, birch trees. That was a really nice touch. It looked really good, and I did, like I said, I didn't even notice it at first, but when I looked, went back and was like, wait, so what was this one? Oh, oh god! Oh, hello! <laughs> How yeah. did I not see that? <laughs> my fa my favorite one was the um, was the modern art one. Oh yeah, because oh. the modern art one. What I did is I added a light that turns on when you uh, when you activate it, and that yeah. just makes the eyes sort of pop out at you, even when you walk away from it. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, like I said, I had I had a great time. Uh, oof, David Oliver, hope you get better, man. Yeah. Uh, said he had COVID all week. Uh, I, I had it a couple months back. It was not great. Hmm. You know, I've had to modify this chain. That that I like that. That like adds a nice little touch to it. 
Because, like, currently, it's, as, I, as I said, if I just turn on my voice meter to... Currently, it just sounds like this. trying to think of how I can make it like a bit more uh what's the term a bit more varied because it's like a yeah it doesn't go for long and that loop can get quite annoying after a short amount of time right mm. see I'm, I'm thinking that some of the like most some of the most uh, memorable tracks from video games that I know of, and the only ones I can actually think are the ones that have been seared into my brain, and that's the Pokemon franchise. And the problem with the Pokemon ones are they... They're, it's not really a problem, it's really good for them, is that they are so varied, but they're also so simple, that, like, after about three, four minutes of listening to the same theme, you know, you're gonna know it front to start, you know, and it, it's, it's, they're really fun, and they're really, uh, upbeat, well, some of them can actually get pretty epic, and you know, I, I like the uh, Gen 3 ones with all the horns. Those feel pretty epic sometimes. So what if I change this to... I know that. Okay, so let's see how this sounds. I'm just gonna like see how this sounds um, first. That feels pretty horror-ish, you know, that quick... Oh, that, well, that's because that I was uh, moving notes around. That is not actually how it's meant to sound. But let me oh, see, uh, well, see how this...
Um. You. I just realised where the issues were popping in. <laughs> so let me fix them up. Can I, can I quantize this a bit better? Um. Okay. So. So now when I play it, it shouldn't sound as jarring. Oh, that's all right. R.I.P. headphone users. I just knocked my uh, microphone off of my stand. I'm so sorry about that. I had you turned down a little bit as well. Apologies to anybody in the chat who was listening to headphone through headphones because I have heard I've been on the other side of that in like Halo lobbies and stuff, and it's the fucking worst sound. Yeah, I, I get that. Um, items. Oh, item settings. Um, item prop properties. Uh, I'm trying to work out how to... The quarter notes. Okay, let's see something. Um, item properties. And then... Okay. 60, so if this is 60 quarter notes. I'm trying to upgrade the death music because it sounds kind of um, repetitive. Like, like some, something that doesn't sound as repetitive because uh, when it sounds... Like, sure, yeah, it's death music. Not many people will be spending a lot of time on the death screen, but it can get uh, annoying. Yeah, I mean, that's... Uh, annoying death screen music is kind of a relic of the past, I want to say, because I can think of, like, now that you say that, like, five or six death screens who have committed the exact sin you're trying to stop yourself from committing like uh, devil may cry was horrible at it it was like sorry about that but yeah it was like uh five or six um notes and then it repeated i think that was devil may cry i i have a very specific vision of the de uh, video came in my head but i'm not sure if it was devil may cry but yeah yeah. So, I, I see what you're trying to do, but then again, it also kind of makes players hurry up and press uh, <laughs> new game or continue or however. Yeah. I'm trying to work out how to... Um, uh, I'm trying to work out how, how to possibly change the length of time of this, you know? length of time that a thing like this goes for because like it's very annoying because things don't go for too too long unless you let 
me just go control C and Why is snapping? I do have snapping, but it's not very paste. Because now if I now this should if I were to put this into Flurphy, it would sound like this. I don't know, I like that. Yeah, I, I like it a lot better than how it sounded before. How it sounded before was just the first two, um, like, if you measure from bass notes, um, it's the first two of them. So yeah, I like it sounding more how it sounds now. Uh, um, I'm gonna mute because there's more cops coming through my area, so... Okay, so peek up the benevolence says, do you really need death music? I mean, you're dead, you won't be able to hear it. Yeah, I think I do need death music. Also, um, just to advertise things, um, because, you know, um, there are people that have joined us that weren't here when I originally showed it off. Uh, well, this weekend just been. The reason why I didn't stream yesterday and I'm instead streaming today is because I spent close to 48 hours awake. Uh, I did get a couple of hours sleep, fortunately. Working on... Where is it? Uh, working on this game. Chat. Working on this game here, Shutter Museum. Uh, it was for a 48-hour game jam, uh, the global game jam, and... Had fun working on it. Little smears. I, ha I just had a pretty good time playing it, so... Links in the chat, go go give, go give it a play. Is there, like, can I, like, vote on it anyway? Or is, like, the game jam done or whatever? Oh, you can, yeah, you can vote on it. In fact, I should probably log in and give it a heart. Um, <laughs> give me a second. I, I mean, sure, as. <laughs> Um, I think this is my password. Well, what? There we go. I was pretty confused. YouTube was holding my, uh, I put the link in the chat and it wasn't showing up on, uh, your chat log on stream. Oh, wait, no, that, that wouldn't work. Um, let me just go. Listen, then it should have me logged in. Hopefully. We'll see. There we go. I can... I can... There we go. We've got seven hearts. And yeah, it's a... It's a... This is Flurfia where hell is a globe. <laughs> so yeah. I mean, if you want to play this game, you can go ahead and play it. It's... Uh, oh, we're only... <sighs> okay. Um... <laughs> oh, I just noticed an issue with the things in the description. Um... Oh. There is also an issue with the screenshots, but that's... Uh, it's because the hair is the, a different colour. We actually had an issue with... I think the person who did the character design for maybe forgot to color the hair and all the animations, and then they gave me the idle animation with the hair colored, and then I n immediately noticed the hair changing color. <laughs> and. 
and so that was fixed in the final version of the game but the game that we the version of the game that we took the screenshots on was the game version where the hair color um was brown rather than pink like the hoodie Well, uh, hey, Planner, I am glad to have uh, dropped by and talked to you for a bit, but I have to get going. It was really nice talking to you, and thanks for, uh, thanks for letting me play your game. No problem. Yep, uh, I'll talk to you later. Hit me up sometime, we'll play chess or something. Definitely. It's always nice to uh, have some good games. Yep, later on. All right, see ya. It's always good to hear, one of the good things when George was playing that game is he would sometimes, or there was one time where I remember that he was like, nope. Uh, I think of oh yeah let's probably file um render this uh we want to render that to oh actually we should probably file save project as hey it's in the thing so we're gonna save this as flatlined And then file render. And we're going to go render it to browse. Directory. Um. Oh, there we go. All right, file name flat lined. Render one file. Oh, we need to, um... <laughs> I just realized something. Hold on, let me just... can only amp it up by 12, 12 dB. I have no idea what scale this is. Third low note, remove it, add the second first note. I, I kind of like how it flows actually, like with the...
Yeah. Yeah, like, I've got this... I was given Reaper, um... Because Reaper is a pretty good... Pretty good software. It does what I want it to. You're learning Unreal Engine 4? I mean, that's that's fine. You can do that. Oh, I like it. Little thing. I like that. File, uh, let's say project, and... I mean, you can learn music software, and... Because what I did is I learned... Um, like I've learned a little bit of Unreal Engine, and but not a whole lot. I one of the things I struggle with in Unreal Engine um, is it like you when you're using when when you want a UI, you, it seems that you have to use blueprints. There's no real way to do it through code. Uh, and I kind of get why, but I'd like it to be a little, like, be a little bit more friendly to do through code. I tried, and it didn't really work too well. Kind of just got to use blueprints because I, I like using code. You know? Also, uh, um, C plus plus is not as friendly as I remember it being. The header files, man, the header files are just awful. Why? Who thought it was a good idea? Like, Unity has its, has its flaws. I'll give it that, like... But at least making a UI... Okay, to be fair, a UI in Unity is fairly... Com is needlessly complicated. But it has ways of simplifying it, like a canvas object, you know. Uh, canvases do simplify a lot of things. Uh, there are... There are um, things... But you can also just, like, have a whole lot of 3D objects and just pop it on the screen, you know. So that's one thing I like about Unity. Um, I, I did have issues when it came to the, uh, whatchamacallit, though. Um, there's a particular thing, I'm trying to, I can't remember what it was called, um, particular. I, I, like, for some reason when I rotate the camera, the uh, UI camera got rotated, kind of, as well. I don't know why. Like, there's just a particular thing in the UI camera that got rotated. But no apparent reason. I was like, why is this... Why is this thing rotating? It shouldn't be rotating. <laughs> But, yeah. That's just one. One issue. Alrighty. Um, trying to think of what I... Oh, yeah, that's right. We render this file. That seems about right when it comes to... Oh, there is one thing. We'll just add a... Oh, I guess I can... Bye. Bye for you, DB. Alright. 
There is one thing on this track. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Envelopes. Just add a fade. Okay. Oh, actually, let's move it to here and then. News for about a second afterwards. One second. So this is forty five seconds. Forty five point eight. Let's try that. I could probably change the Oh we need to change the set point shape. Um close There we go. Move this more to here. That sounds better. Okay, now we render one file. We get 15.7 luffs. If you don't know what a luff is, uh, you, you'll want to probably learn audio. <laughs> um, oh jeez, I'm, I'm still kind of tired from not getting it. Why does my body? I also came up with a good tweet idea. Which I'm gonna tweet. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Bit of a Okay. Okay, let me just get, oh, I have a notifications on Twitter. Ah. All right, let me wait a thing. Statist.
Okay. The average human... ...is... ...born male. Bit of a joke about statistics. Because, yeah, the average human is born male. <laughs> it's just, what average are you using? This is, uh, if you use the mode, then it's like. Uh, median doesn't really apply. Because. Basically, because um, six is bimodal, median doesn't. I suppose median can apply, and it would still be male. Like median, meaning how high the rate of intersex people are. But it's still a <laughs> still um, true. The average human is born male. I mean, even if you do uh, apply. Yeah, I suppose it's like they can all so yeah, mode it would be mode would be um uh, male, the median would be male, the mean would also be male. Although the mean depends on like weighting, I guess like or a few things like that. The mean would probably be uh actually no, the mean wouldn't be male. The mean would be Somewhere and would be like into six. But I'm not using the uh, mean, I'm using the um, median or mode. Just a fun little tweet for people to get mad at me on Twitter about. <laughs> Although people, sh I mean, people should get the joke right. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a lot of, um, what are I'm getting? A lot of interesting pixel art here. It'd be nice if I could, I want to do, be able to do pixel art like this and be able to do pixel art like, I mean, this looks, looks wicked. Oh, I can't. Uh, that looks awesome, the pixel art. <laughs> One person pointed out, yeah, the proportion between the car and the people is really, really off. You know, what you do is you... What you... What you do here, right? And this is... What you do to uh, get this... Go into the car, right? You take, um, you know, you get your girlfriend and uh, your girlfriend's other partner. Cause that's how everyone lives, right? So you, you get your girlfriend, you get your girlfriend's other partner, get them to sit on the bonnet, and then you take a photo. And you use that as a reference. And that's how you do that. As okay, so with that, we go to Florfia. We go down to. I'm going to need to do a few things here. We go down to. <laughs> you thought there were mice on the car? Oh yeah, it does look a little bit like mice if you if I squint. But yeah. No, that's that's what you do, yeah. And that's what's that is why it's always good to be on good terms with your girlfriend's other partner. 
Or, you know, maybe you've got a boyfriend or... Um, or maybe you've got a non-binary partner. Who knows? What did you even call, like, a, your partner who is non-binary? Like, boyfriend, girlfriend? <laughs> or girlfriend, boyfriend? I don't know. Envy friend. <laughs> that just... Like, envy friend sounds like you've got a um, friend who's envy. Uh, just, yeah, just partner. Yeah, that that is true. If it can depend on what they prefer, I'd pro I'd personally probably just use partner because it gets confusing if you if you're like, oh, um, what do you pref like? Because honestly, I have a hard not I have a hard enough time remembering everyone's pronouns as it is. <laughs> So I prefer to just default to they. However, everyone else. Um, wait, no, I, I forgot what I was gonna say. Uh, I was, I had two thoughts just collide. So yeah, <laughs> and that results in a mess of uh, what I say. So I prefer to uh, refer to people as they. Because I have a hard time, much time remembering pronouns. However, when it comes to things like uh, partners, it's like we don't. Because, like, yeah, there's partner, there's uh, spouse. Um, spouse is for when you're married, of course. But it's like, how many different, like, I often use they in English, but my language doesn't really do that, unfortunately. Yeah, it's annoying. Um, I know that French and Spanish have very gendered uh, languages. Um, very annoying how, the, how gendered they are. I'll put this. I'm gonna wear some glasses. Cause why? Why the fuck not? All right. Focus glasses. Wouter Van. I don't know if I'm getting it right. Van Bellingham. We have four grammatical genders for no reason. Oh jeez. There are too many computer languages. Um. Yes. Let's just all simplify it down to C sharp. Problem solved. It's just turn Python into C sharp, turn Java into C T C sharp. God knows that would be an improvement on Java. And I don't who who still uses Java anymore. I. I, I don't know anyone that still uses Java. Maybe some people that are learning programming, but still, like... I don't use Java. I once used Java, but I didn't really do anything with it. Wouldn't be able to tell you much beyond just basic... Um, the... <laughs> Losers, dude. That... Oozes do you use Java? Yeah, like it's okay, but it's no C sharp. Like it couldn't even be bothered. Just SEBI is more accessible for educational purposes. I hope you mean JavaScript and not Java, because Java is. JavaScript is... Okay. 
JavaScript is fine, right? I mean, yeah, it's not the greatest language out there. There are definitely some things that could be improved on. Um, but yeah, and Tiger Country says, very sad about Schrodinger's cat being on. Yeah, I was actually, it was, I found out during my last stream and I had to, just had to end the stream because of that. Um, and yeah, it's, it sucks, honestly. It was a bit of a shock, honestly, because, like, although, now, I, this may just be me, but he had been seeming a bit tired lately. Maybe it's just time to set his up or something, but I, I don't know. I know what he, I don't know what he did for a job, like, sometimes jobs do have weird working things. Uh, yeah, it's. I can't. <laughs> usually, uh, usually, I, I like to say something to be like hopefully, but there's nothing really to be hopeful about. I I guess hopefully his family is doing well. I don't know, like, but like, I don't think his family is doing well just because they've lost someone and you don't do well after you've like uh, yeah like if you're doing well after you've lost someone then you probably there is hope for something but I don't know what that is and uh, I think it would be irresponsible of me to um, comment on what that is uh, when it comes to Schrodinger's cat anyway um I don't even... Hey, Steve McRae, how, how's it been? Um, got police sirens. Nothing. Is it... I, I do want to ask. Is it okay if I make a joke about Schrodinger's cat? About, about his death? Like, uh, that's the way that... Because that's the way that I cope with things. It's like an obvious joke. That's the way that I um, like to cope with things. Like, not everyone agrees uh, with that, but like, it's. I think it's a fairly simple way to deal with uh, things, and like, it's not not for everyone. I I just don't want to you know be being people by making a joke because you'll get those people that be how dare you make a joke about Schrodinger's cat, you know. Whereas I'm just like. Can we make jokes to... Because <laughs> isn't that, like, half the point of jokes to try and have a bit of fun, like, even through, like, tough times? Schrodinger's cat had a great sense of humour. He would approve. Okay. So, people are speculating on... Yeah. So, people are speculating on the cause of death when it comes to Schrodinger's cat. Um, the end... Honestly, I know that... Family said not to speculate. Uh, I think it is because they don't know. I um, but yeah. Uh, so I don't think anyone really knows that cause of death yet. But I think that someone opened the box. That's what happened. That that is uh, my theory. Someone opened the box. So yeah, but <laughs> I don't have anything else to say about that. Um, okay, that's good. Um, oh jeez, why is this slowing down? Let's open up Flatlined. 
Why is this... Why is it so small? Jeez, it's so tiny. Something happened. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Uh, sound. Oh! I have something to show people when it comes to Flurifia. All right, so first we are going to uh, open up the... Go to music, game soundtrack, flatlined, dot wave, open. Uh, you've, I've, haven't heard of what's called Schrodinger's uh, logic. I've heard of uh, Schrodinger's asshole and Schrodinger's um, immigrant. But I haven't heard of Schrodinger's uh, logic. Is it where someone is reaching is it like where someone is reaching a conclusion or, or something based off something i know that i know that uh steve mccray is a big logic nerd so or, um let's go creation i just oh that wouldn't be in there anyway creation code Nope. Uh, OB jams. I'm I'm a logic nerd, just not the um philosophy type. There's different types of logic nerd. I'm a computer logic nerd. <laughs> Hence why I'm programming a game. Eating would sound good. Oh, I am, I am very hungry. I am way too, jeez, like. Schrodinger's logic is a type of logic that tries to take into account that fundamental particles are fundamentally indistinguishable from each other, so they are all the same single particle. I have heard about that before. Oh, speaking of things. All right, I don't know if anyone is a physics. Uh, oh yeah, I've heard that. I've heard the idea of the one electron universe. Um, it sounds weird, weird to me. I, I personally, I personally am. Um, huh, I couldn't. I got a uh, thing from a Kai, an email. <laughs> Actually, I just remembered that I need to check my spam mail. I there is a debunk that I'm going to do on a. So there is one person that I want to reference next time I when I make a video on uh, Ken. I'm still going to make videos on Ken Wheeler. But the person that I want to reference is someone called Bill Gade. But Bill Gade, unfortunately... So unfortunately, everybody that criticizes uh, Ken Wheeler, except for myself and AB Science, seem to have wacky ideas. Like, some of them more wacky than Ken Wheeler's ideas. Bill Gade is someone that has criticized Ken Wheeler. He does a decent job. However... He has some wacky ideas. Um, uh, what's Topsify? I, I have no idea what Topsify is and why they sent me an email. Uh, email from Fiverr. <laughs> it, Yeah, I have heaps of, like, spam emails. This... Okay. That's not what I thought, thought it was. And then we've got some weird crypto things.
Okay, um, yeah, no, uh, nothing in spam. I have a guest today at 5pm that claims that he can bend reality at the end. Jeez. But anyway, uh, what, is, what Bill Gates is, he is the uh, rope hypothesis, hypothesis. And essentially, what his idea is, is that there is no such thing as a field. Right? So his claim is... Well, firstly, his claim is that everything uh, in the universe is dealt, deals with uh, physical objects. Right. Or that physics, he says that physics deals with things that are physical. And it's like, okay. And then he goes on to claim that there's no such thing as a field, and that instead every particle in the universe is connected by a rope to every other particle. Um, and one of his things is that because light. Uh, has like a wave he like says oh this is a like two rope it's a rope like jesus christ it's just oh uh, it doesn't it does not make sense if if every particle was connected if light was a rope right then there's like the whole double split thing wouldn't work. That's because that's because light interacts as a wave. Physical things don't necessarily interact like a wave. Oh, it's not string theory. It's crazy string theory. It's silly string theory. I'm going to use that. <laughs> it's silly string theory. Mm, I am... We got Earth. <laughs> well, only in this game, mind you. Um... Yeah, but it's like, because like it's definitely not based off string theory. Like string, it is trying to arrive at a sort of fundamental, um, like u uniting theory, much like a lot of people do. But it's un, as far as I can know, it's untested and unproven. I just don't... I, I personally don't get how, like, everything in the universe connects to every other thing. Also, if the, the rope hypothesis were true, then there would be... I suppose galaxies could redshift, uh, light. There, yeah, there would be some redshifting and blue shifting of light. My next video is going to be a fun. It's going to be a fun video. We'll finally, it will finally explain a few things that people have been probably wanting answers to for about a month now. Oh yeah, I need to do something. This was here. Maybe J underscore. I realize there are some secrets that I don't want people to. No theory is provable. But string theory doesn't mean that there's connected by strings, but things like quarks and. Yeah. Basically, um, well, what I mean by it hasn't been proven is there's no experiment done to give it. Give evidence for it, right? Okay.
We just need to times this by two, so it should be. 20. Point. This two, carry the one. Okay, so this. Okay, we'll just actually no, we'll work it, go opposite direction. So this will be four. Eight, that's six. Carry the one, make five. I'm six. Two, carry the one, that becomes seven. And we're just going to set this to 21. Easy. Lurphy, a world with no intelligent life. Do you win the game if you survive for a day? Okay, let's... Let, let's try and get... Oh, we can probably, hold on, let me see the... Okay, I got it. That hurt! <laughs> Oh, that's because... I didn't use... I'm not using Python, it's uh, a language that's similar, more similar to JavaScript and C... It's like a mesh of JavaScript and C Sharp, in a way. Uh, I didn't use the Bible as spikes. Yeah, because I really realized that lined. There we go. That's the one that I want. <laughs> I haven't really thought of a way to incorporate the Bible or anything into it. Maybe there'll be something about the Bible when you go to the mansion of knowledge. Okay, let's uh, let's Roblox ourselves. played you have to burn the rope no I haven't <laughs> just a little bit of a pop there will it happen again I 
Now, I'm noticing a pop. Um, can we get more accurate with this? We've got uh, 140 BPM. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'd definitely... Hey! I, I saw that it's being uh, renewed. So, I'd love to finally... Um, I'd like to finally come on to non-sec, um, so, you know, I, I remember the, there was a thing, are you going to have a little get out of jail free card in Flip yet? Um, There is going to be a, I don't know, like, I'd like to, by the way, um, Steve, there are a few people that I'd like to debate, because, like, sometimes I get tired of flat earth debate, so if, like, one of the issues, uh, that I have a little bit with, uh, modern day debates is they keep on only getting me for flat earth stuff, and, like, it's like, yeah, I... I get it, but I'd like to debate something like climate change or um, what else is there? So there's climate change, and there is what is it? What is it? Ah, uh, I'm trying to think. Climate change and ah, oh, like the whole Darth Dawkins and yeah. Darth Dawkins's whole thing. Uh I, I know what he tries to do. And like I don't I just don't accept the fundamental things that he goes on about. Cause like his whole thing is basically logic is if you have logic then you must have a god. And it's like, well, no, I don't agree with that because I think that logic is something that we just invented to describe um the the universe. Yeah, it's like, I, I, like, we just took the way that we can process the uni uh, universe, ascribe logic to it. Like, if, um, for all we know, things could, like, time may operate differently to how we perceive it. And our, all our logical stuff would be incorrect. But uh, we don't operate like that because that's not the reality. The yeah, argument is uh, that if logic is always true and logic is conceptual, then there must be a mind always to always exist and conceptualize it. Yeah, I, I don't agree with that. I think that if you take away everything, things would, like, if you take away all minds, things would still. Um, Keep on working, right? Oh, I, I agree that logic is conceptual, but logic is something that we came up with to describe the universe. The universe does not describe, uh, is not operated by logic, it is described by logic. Take, yeah, take away all the humans and you still have a universe. Take away all the humans and God no longer exists. That's my view of it. I don't know, um, if, Steve, if you're still there, uh, I do want to get your thoughts on theological non-cognitivism. Because um, that's something that I have been leaning quite closely towards. <laughs> A misplaced argument, but all of stuff is just meant to confuse people with difficult concepts and terminology. Logics would still exist to, a con to an extent, but not in the way that we. Because, like, uh, it would exist in the way that the universe operates. It would exist, like, whatever logic the universe operates on, which may or may not 
be how we define logic would still like we Theo <laughs> Theo Theo Nogs. Um Okay. Because yeah, like I've got a, like it seems like a good like a generally a good thing. I because like the problem when talking to someone about God um, is that a lot of people don't really like everyone defines God differently, and the issue that you get get down to is you end up asking, well, what makes a god a god? What really, what really does that? And it's like, I don't think that there's a good answer. Like, you could say, well, a god is obviously going to be a, is like a supernatural entity that has consciousness. Okay. You used to lean towards it years ago? Okay. Make sure you message me on uh, either Facebook or Discord when you're um, when you're about to go live with with that. This Sunday, well, yeah, I usually go live on Sunday. Depends what time it is. If it's, it's, if it's oh yeah. Yeah, the the problem is like when it comes to defining a god, right, or defining the concept of a god, is that it's really, really murky. You could say an all powerful entity, right, and their existence. Like, okay, there's not you can uh, an all powerful entity that is a mind. Now, I always stipulate stipulate that a god must have consciousness. If a god does not have consciousness, I don't think we can define it as a god because that's the way that... Because some people define god as the underlying thing of the universe. I think the most accurate thing that you can get to is an all-powerful entity uh, that has, con has consciousness. Something like that. They think that it is all the good that happens to them. Yeah, and some people say that it's like the first cause of something. Necessary being or agent with intentionality and all. Okay, let me try and unpack this. Necessary being or agent with intentionality that. Okay, I like that. That contingents are dependent upon and or can prescriptively change or suspend natural law by having complete dominion over an aspect of nature. Okay, that's a good... Um, I, I like that definition. I, I, like that, I like that definition because it does... Uh, because the, having complete dominion over an aspect of nature is, uh, includes uh, Greek gods and all that. Yeah, I, <laughs> some call it the ether. I like that joke, ether rod. <laughs> A lot of atheists have adopted my definition. Yeah, I, I do like that definition of God. Or gods. Doesn't a game? Doesn't a game designer who builds a, an open world game like GTA games as a god? Yeah, like I. <laughs> hey, I, I I've created Flurfia. Um, speaking of which, I need to. Uh, I, I need to work out what. One hundred and four. One hundred and forty BPM. I think it's like. Uh, Div sixty. 
this the times how many beats do we have yeah I've separated into three by four times three by four. let's go times three times four twenty eight that's not it and so one hundred and sixty div or is it sixty over one forty? I'm trying to think of how I meant to do BPM here. I've forgotten BP the BPM calculation when I'm converting a certain amount of BPM beats per two seconds. Sixty to let's just search this. Oh, it is uh, 60 over 140, because if I go times 2, we get 10.28. Okay, um, yeah, I'm, I got it right. Times, times 2. So... Can we talk about the piano on my left? What, this piano? That piano? Is that the piano that we're talking about? Oh, and by the way, uh, just I'm going to continuously advertise the game until we get someone creating a Let's Play of it. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is a game that I made. Uh, there's a link in the description. It's a nice little game. I mean, this is in Unity. Uh, it's a nice, it's a nice game. You start out here, go through here, and did weird things with how things are displayed, so that's why <laughs> the player character has this weird look to them. But yeah, you start here, and it's it's a new game that I created in forty eight hours, and it's what the sole reason why I didn't stream yesterday. Would have streamed, but I was way too tired because forty eight hours is not a lot of time to make a game. So. Seven, other than seven two, seven two one four. Uh, what do you mean by can you can you help me in any way? What do you mean by help? <laughs> define help. Or define you what you're helping me with. Uh, the piano on the left? Um, are you meaning like fixing the key? <laughs> or what? I'm not sure how to fix the key, so... Uh, that's a thing that... Besides, I don't use this key, because... Listen to it. I probably can't hear it that much. Let me just... Um, commit Roblox for a second, and then I'll... Okay, that didn't do hollow. I am currently on Discord so that people can chat with me there. I didn't hear any popping there. Okay, I heard a slight pop there. Very hard to get 
rid of pops. <laughs> Maybe I need to learn. Oh. Graph. Okay, so there are a few. Um, so composing music is like something that coming along. The music generally is coming along pretty nicely. I do need to. Um, all right, see you, Steve. There are like a few uh, things that I need to do, but I've got other people helping me with music. Um, I've mostly got. I mostly actually have to check Google Drive. Let me see. Not telling me the names of. Tell me the names of files. Ah, uh, where is it? Uh, Flurfia Assets. Why is it not letting me? Okay, let me just reload Google Drive. Here we go, Dusty Points. Yeah, I need to get a. Um, currently, I'm awaiting a an audio file. I'm gonna go two, two eight, just to be more precise. Yeah, I'm going to delete the old version of that. Because like, I don't know, I can, if I go to here, no, no, that's not the, that's not the right file. Go to here. Go to Bank it to Yeah, um Yeah, absolutely. Do you have Discord? Yeah. That's a Oh, that's right. I need to show you something that I've been working on. What I'll do is I'll... I'm just going to do one thing. See if my more preciseness of the... Using a more precise number for this value here has helped in any bit. If not... Actually, hold on. I'll change this to 20... Two, because that should theoretically help. So it's a little bit easier when, like, funnily enough, it's easier when you've got like a whole lot of different instruments going. Because pops and stuff aren't as noticeable when you like Beatles fight. There's probably a pop there, but I just don't notice it because it's so much happening with distortion and all. Likes of that. I hit continue. Okay, the pop is a lot 
quieter now. Which is... If only I could just queue samples up to a buffer, that would be like... Uh, queue, um... Samples. I guess it's the right... Queue, um... Yeah, I don't think there's another word for it. The, the bits of data. I call them samples because of the sampling rate. It's, yeah, I don't remember the... But if you've got... Hold on, let me check Discord. Because... Because, um... Here, if, what you can do is if... Let me see if there's uh Ah, that's not... No, you're not in the Discord. There's a link to my dis. Actually, let me copy the link to my Discord server. Um... And you can actually, uh, I'm also on there. Audio file. No, it's not audio files. Because some, when I talk about samples, I'm actually meaning like the little... That doesn't show... Uh, if, I, if I were to go into Audacity, right... When I talk about samples, when I talk about samples, I'll show you what I mean. These things here, these little dots, <laughs> that's what I mean. It's like if... Because what... If, were, if this one here, like, let's say, let's say this one were up here, then you'd, you'd hear that. Right, actually, let me go. Probably not good for headphone speakers or anything, but that's... You can hear that because it's... Yeah. And that's what we call a pop in the audio industry. And... If I go back to this recording here... When I talk about samples, I'll show you what I mean. So you can hear... In this, in the left audio one, ah, there's a bad thing on my ear. Um, you can hear that pop. Uh, if I were to, if I were to actually get rid of that, right, and let's say I were to grab this audio. Let's choose a choose a pretty good sample too. Uh, I'm trying, trying to choose a good sample too. Let's go all the way back to here actually. Would hear. Oh, that's a great. Ah, okay, so effect. Um, invert. There we go. So now you're going to hear a feeling. I just will pop where I inverted it. When I talk about samples, I'll show you what I. So, where I inverted it, there is a pop. That is because... 
of how things work. <laughs> Uh, because of ha how um, we perceive, well, how I, I, I'm blanking on like what to say, but uh, that's just how audio things work, and it's not nice when you have pops. Try to avoid pops when you can. That's what I've been doing in Flurfia, trying to avoid pops wherever I can, or at least reducing the the, the pop to the point where it's as unnoticeable as possible. Very difficult to do, surprisingly enough. Or maybe not surprisingly. I have a few tactics up my sleeve that I try and use. Let me close that. But anyway, seeing as I've reduced that to a point where it's only slightly no, a little bit noticeable. Yeah, very difficult in sound loops. If I go... Mm. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I forget that some things are interactable, like this toilet, you don't, it doesn't. Like, let me just turn that up so that we can appreciate it a bit more. Right. I just want everyone to appreciate what I've done here. <laughs> Like, I had basically what I did, and CB can vouch for me on this. What I did is I, is I sent him an audio file. This is the audio that I recorded from my toilet on my other PC. I basically took my PC to my toilet, Recorded a bunch of audio, sent it to CB on Discord. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a clap there just to check. Yeah, clap to make sure the audio was working. Then I had to do a bit of EQ. And I sent CV the EQ um, thing just in case I lost it. <laughs> this is the EQing that I did. Cut out all the low frequencies there that made it too low. Um, had this kind of curve and yeah. That is... Um, I did the queuing in Audacity. Did a bit of noise reduction as well on it, and then placed it in the game. It is now a thing in the game. You can flush your toilet in the game. There's not many other sound effects in the game, but the toilet flush is one of them. <laughs> Best imitation of... A toilet flushing of a flushing toilet is the sound of of a real flushing toilet. Yeah. And my actual notification sound of fun is the sound of my door diary hitting the water and toilet. Always fun to get. <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, uh, I. I just took it, like, I didn't actually need to flush the toilet. Which is, uh, which is probably good. 
but I'd flushed it anyway. So, yeah, sure. Sure, I wasted a bit of water, but I have seen bigger wastes of water than uh, flushing a toilet for a sound effect. Like... How much, like, think about it. Us humans, we treat water like it's not a, like there's an infinite supply of it. We really do, right? I mean, we use water on frivolous things like rain in a movie set, for example. How much rain do you see in movie sets? They don't, they don't actually record it in the rain, they just have like water coming down over the characters no how many takes do they do that? how many gallons of water do they use or liters should i say same gallons for my american audience how many liters of water do they use they probably use a decent amount i'd say And it adds up like all the with all the movies, all the takes, all the things. Um, we use water on all. Flushing a toilet is a penny spent. Water is always is you know water has been treated that way, but drinkable water is very scarce. I worked for Greenpeace and Office Spam. I know that they close off water. Pits for communities over there. Bottle it. Yeah. Like, water is, like... Water for drinking, mostly, is pretty scarce. I know that there's, like, a whole lot of... I know that there's... The world is running out of water. Um... And, the, yeah, and they ship it over... Other places, yeah, the world is running out of water. Like, there's places that your yeah, desalination is quite expensive. There's places that um, were very close to actually running out of water. There's like this zero th day zero. In my country, we often catch rainwater and use for that, that for things that don't really need drinkable water. Yeah. I know that rainwater is a bit more acidic than uh, your drinking water. We have, yeah, we have a lot of undrinkable water. It's just the uh, drinkable water that's... that we're running out of, and, like, we use a lot of it on, like, crops and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I, I know what you mean, and you're not trying to, like, if you're trying to say something stupid, yeah, I'd have probably, uh, probably made it sound a little bit, yeah, like, if you're saying something like, the earth is flat, I'd be like, uh, I'd probably be, say something like, you can't drill the seas, you know? <laughs> But uh, seeing as you're not trying to say uh, stupid things, um, then you know. I naively believe the rain is edited in in movies. And some the rain would be edited in, but like most of the time I'd assume that they'd have like a thing on set that um, where they put water you know, where they uh, spray water over the people. All right, what's the next thing to do? What is... want to make videos about that too oh are you going to be saying that the earth is flat do i have to make videos about do i have to make debunking videos on you i 
When we go to the stars, we'll probably mine the water from moons and asteroids and such. Probably, yeah. Maybe we'll just have a great water source that's floating out in space, you know, like a... Maybe what we'll do is we'll make a giant planet full of a giant thing of ice. And people can go to that planet and just mine the ice. It's just, that's the only thing the planet is composed of, is just ice. It would probably be a bad idea, though, to just have a planet completely composed of ice, because... You know... Asteroids and, st and such exist. Since SC died uh, on the day of my birthday, I saw him in the last debate. He died the day before. And it triggered something in me. Yeah, that's understandable. You want to take up the mantle of. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that's what I was going to do. Alright, yeah, I remember now. Alright, do I have a thing? Oh, yeah, I thought of this. Okay, that's... Yeah, I've been trying to escape from flat earth topics for a while now. Like I've been trying to make, I've been trying to make a... F Let me... I kind of came up with that and I thought it sounds like a uh, track from uh, Final Fantasy X. Let me go to YouTube and play it for you. It reminded me of... FF... 10... Oh, what was it? Here we go. Okay, this sounds... <laughs> Something around... Hold on, let me speed. Yes, it reminded me a bit of that. I don't know how how copyrighted that music is. I know that. Cover the theory that the Beatles aren't real if you want to escape Flat Earth. That, yeah, that is a possibility. Um, what do I... What am... I'm trying to think of something. Like, I'm thinking, trying to think of something that's more in a... I guess a swing tempo would be nice. I did have one idea. Let me open it. Let me actually open it up. Um, let me go to standard morning. Go. File. Open song. Come out with a few ideas for flat smacks. And this is the second idea that hits closer to what I want to do. I think. Okay. Sounds like a kangaroo bouncing along the road. Like this track here, or, or the uh, Meehan High Road one, the one that sounds more professional. 
It does sound like oh yeah, the um Mihin High Road one sounds like a kangaroo bouncing along the road. This, yeah, so uh, one this would probably sound a lot better if it actually played at the speed it was supposed to. So. trying to think of something for it. Like, I want something a bit silly, but... Like, one of the... Oh, so you are debating someone, but it's um, a flat smack debate. I want something a little bit silly, but... Yeah, I'm guessing you're meaning this one here. When it comes to the... I'm guessing when it comes to the kangaroo one, you mean this here. I'm trying to think of how I'm going to go about this. Yeah, I had like. If you, I think this you're referring to this thing as the in, intermediate part. The uh, like, I can't play it. Try. Maybe that's not that goes. And it's like a hole. Guys. Jeez, I can't. Something like that, I don't know. Add a bigger click to the roller rolling part. I, do you mean like in the drum? I don't know if they have like a drums. Do they have like? Oh, that's something I'd have to like go and add that in stuff uh, in the audio software. I'm trying to, I, I don't know how to develop it further though. That's like one of the issues. I did hear. Okay, now I have to thank Jiren as I'm. I think it's Jiren. I have to thank. Okay, we're gonna 
go to YouTube and search up journalism because I think he had some music but it gave me a bit of inspiration. I think it was journalism. Uh... Jeez, there's gonna be an ad. You might have seen videos like this before, but okay, here's the big let me secret. Skip the Anyone ad. can make one of these videos in a Oh, here we go. Oh, that would be something something like that. He's probably using royalty-free music, I hope. I'd hope he's using it. Yeah, click. Because, like, like, there's sort of a sort of... It's sort of a bass, rolling bass line. Like, a sort of... Something like... I went. Um, okay, so yeah, the it's kind of similar to like. That's kind of where I got that idea from. Uh, I remember seeing it and being like, huh. I don't know, I'm just trying to think of how, like, it's very hard to sort of work out like the style of music that you're going for. Usually I play around like quite a bit to get like an idea of music, as anyone who has seen my recent streams can attest to. Um, I want to show that on stream. Going through like a thing and wondering if anyone. Yeah, almost like can Yeah, almost. Almost like carnival music. Um, I guess I got to work out like. I guess I've got to work out like a scale or. Something. Okay, let me um let me grab my guitar and see if I can figure out something on that. Because maybe I might be able to Because who knows, we might be able to figure out something on, on the guitar. Oh, this is very bright. <laughs> this is very bright. When did this... I don't remember... Maybe... It... Let me find a different pick. I feel like pick's making it very bright. 
Uh, we are Other perks. <laughs> Give me a few seconds. I don't have perks. Just... This one, yeah, this one here should be a little duller, I'd hope. Ah, there we go. Yeah, that's not, see, that's not quite so bright. I use this and it just brightens up the sound so much. Alright, see ya. Uh, Alright. I'm much better at guitar than keyboard, just saying. <laughs> Use the pick of Destiny. Where is the pick of Destiny? I might have misplaced the pick of Destiny somewhere. Ah, oh, dropped one. Somewhere. Okay, let's think of something. That sounds a bit like Sounds like a New Zealand song, I think. Might be New Zealand. By the dudes, I'd. I'm not, not sure. It might, or it might be an American song that, <laughs> that sounds very similar. Alright, see you, Jell Jelly Lorem. I'm really bad with like thing. I can come up with something, but ask me to ask me to come up with a specific idea. I'll come up with thousands of ideas that have, that just don't quite fit. I want to think of something silly, because like it's easy to come up with silly lyrics. You just go, you just go. God, camp chairs on the. Right, how does it go? Captures on earth, captures on Venus, take him out of a plane. Out of my penis, captures on earth, captures on Venus, take him out of a plane. Out of my penis, we got captures on earth, captures on Venus, take him out of a plane. Is the air I'm breathing, yeah. Can't really use that that tune, unfortunately. Um, Conspiracy Cats made that one. Hmm. Oh, I like this one.
Ah, ça. Oh. Sounds a little bit like a bluesy thing. Um, but I, I like the. Fingers aren't. Wait. Something like that, mate. What's this? Let me use a My brain is just not coming up with ideas. Um Let me try and think let me Go to YouTube and try and get inspiration from carnival music. Do 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 do. Wait. Hold on. It sounds a little bit like a dark carnival. How do I brighten that up? That brightens it up way too much. <laughs> That doesn't sound right. Wait. What? Oh, that has a.
There's an idea there. <laughs> there is an idea there. Do, 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 do. Timing. <laughs> One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. One and two and three and four and one. Like it's like a, like it gives Cotton Eye Joe, you know, the Cotton Eye Joe, I've been wearing a long time ago. Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? Where'd you come from? Cotton Eye Joe. There's something there. I've just got to work out how it's going to play out, I guess. And like what would go behind it. It sounds, uh, it's not like carnival music, but it sounds like a little bit funky, a little bit silly, a little bit, um, sounds a bit countryish, I guess, is what I'm saying. There are some, okay, there are some good country songs, but like not a lot, okay. Not a big fan of country. Like, what, what have you got? Um, the like, only notable country song that I really know of is that one that goes red. Oh! Hold on. I want to um, go one point nine three. Oh, is it one point? Oh, it's just one point nine. Okay. One point nine. There we go. <laughs> That's what was missing. I sort of looking at it and I was like, hmm, something doesn't seem right there. Um, yeah, that might be. Let's go back to Flirpia. Let's change. That might have been what was. Let's go flatlined. Reload. Rawhide is a good country and western song. Okay. I'll be able to get some like, um, oh, what I'll do is I'll do this thing and flatlined. Um, where is it? Here 
Active game. There we go, game over. Change the spec to 21. Well, it should be noticeable because I know why it was so damn noticeable. Yeah, Johnny Cash is all right. All right, so if I go load and we'll just go back to here. So now it shouldn't have the issues that it had. It does have a pop. What I could oh, I'm gonna here's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see what that pop is from actually. Start recording. See if I can, uh, let's open up Movie Studio. Go to there, go to videos. And there should be a thing, should be an artifact. Hold on, I'm just gonna see what lump. There's one thing that I actually think we, I can get inspiration from. Lance's theme. This track here. Oh, hey. After the ad. Four, three, two, one. It really comes down to the instruments, doesn't it? Really, okay, and it really needs a bass, uh, walking bass line, I think, is what it needs. Is what I need to do. I think that's... The dun 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 kind of thing. Because that kind of gives it like a... Yes. So let me just bring this in. Gonna watch, kinda walk streams. <laughs> That's where I heard it. If I can find the cult.
if I'm trying to find No. Nope. Well I heard two there. Around about here ish I heard it. Like a not noticeable one, at least not from the waveform. I'll be able to find it and then. Okay. Maybe not. Oh well. So let's do. So I think what we need to do. Is I the idea I have on guitar is pretty good. I'm remembering that I'm hungry, but I don't want to. I want to get something delivered because it's expensive. And I don't want to spend like half an hour making food and then have like half an hour. I had like. Someone here to entertain people, but What? Hold on. Wait. First, let me check Lance's theme. Um. Let me go sheet, sheet music and see what time that's in. Uh, that's not. Oh, it's the same. Um, here we go. Uh, it's in. Um, oh, it's just in four four. <laughs> I guess what I'm. Let me go metronome. Okay, we need higher BPM than that. Uh, a bit higher than that. 120, let's see. Okay, let's let's go 120 BPM. That's the right one <laughs> thing. Um, let's go to. Let me open up Audacity. And we're going to use the voice meter because. That should be. Yeah, okay. Should, yeah, that should be uh, sending.
Okay, now with that, you'll at least be able to... Okay, um... Okay, so it seems like it's go from peak to peak. Here to here. One, two, three, four, five. Not helpful. <laughs> this is not very helpful. Um I'd like to divide this into Divided into I do that. <laughs> oh, we can. Oh, we. Oh, I'll figure it out. File. New. So twelve. Eighty by. Seven twenty. And then we can go image canvas to layers. And then we can go view, go grid. Image uh, canvas size will make it like eighty. It's easier. Oh, no, that doesn't really work. In that case, cancel. Um, we'll go. Image configure grid, and so we've got six ninety five bit four, like one hundred and seventy three. So horizontal one seven three. Yeah, it seems like it's trying to be a What about th three? Oh. Five by three. Two hundred and thirty one. Edge configure grid two thirty one. Yeah, that fits more. Okay, we're using triplets. <laughs> Let me go back to my live dashboard. We're using triplets here. Um, okay, now that we've decided that we're going to be using triplets, does Reaper allow for triplets?
Okay, we'll just go File, New Project Tab. I like a whole lot of tabs open here, it's awesome. Okay, go Insert Item. It says here, oh, we've got Quantize. Um, where does it? Rips it. I'm thirty two, so. Yeah, that's that's the right length. All right. We also need to write drums. <laughs> drums is going to be a hard part because. Reaper doesn't seem to have a good drum thing. I mean, I have written drums in Reaper before, but they're not that great. And we'll probably have a walking bass line. Like a sort of... Like that. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Can, you, you can send me an mp3 just as long as it's um just as long as it's um not copyrighted music okay so yeah we're going to be using triplets here because triplets sound funky triplets are the right time signature that you want to go for. Okay. Also, I'm gonna Reaper change MIDI item length. Okay, you can, um, one person saying just hover over the right edge, click alt and drag, hold on, alt and drag. No, that's not. <laughs> if I go, let's put a few things in, and then I hold alt and drag. That is not what I want. Go into the MIDI editor, resize the right edge. Okay, there we go. There we go. We'll fix things. Thank you, um, forum, Reaper forum. Okay, um, just send it th through to me on Discord, uh, if you can. Uh, you should be able to DM me. I'll actually send, I know that you, I'll send you a DM on Discord, uh, where is... Where is the uh, welcome box? I 
and then there you go. And I'll add Joseph Frank. There we go. We're friends now. <laughs> and Team Skeptic just decided to go live. <laughs> Okay. Okay, now let's delete this. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to think, like... Let's, let's put some drums on this. Which one am I going to go? Go for... Go, I think we can go for a power drum kit. Yep. Sounds like it. So C two is the kick drum. I like the I like having a kick drum. I mean, you go down here. <sighs> okay, that's one. And then we... So this is going to be a 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> I think it might have to be in 3-3. Three, three. Or no, 3-4. I want something. At least the drums might have to be. Maybe it's a 3-4. I'm trying to think of like how the t there's a bit of swing to I'm trying to think it's a bit of like there's something there's a bit of swing to it's like I just had a vibe for this. Yeah. 
feel it sounds too slow. Hmm. Conundrums! <laughs> Hold on, let me uh, see. Sheet music, see what. Oh, Muse score. Okay, so there's this one that uses simple kind of thing that I'm going for. Oh, and that's in 4 4, it's just. Maybe if I go f back to 4 4. It's like if I go to here. <laughs> something like that going with it. So maybe if I go back to full four, I bet I and just I think of how else needs to go. Wait. Jesus. It's actually pretty difficult to think about how these things are supposed to go. It's astronomically difficult. I'm trying to, um, trying to get like a t -t 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 sort of, um, sound. It's just not, timing is difficult. <laughs> it's really difficult for some reason, like, I can't seem to figure it out. Let's go back to let's go back to the metronome. Yeah, I've got the first. Oh. Ah, there we go. If I just if I just go drag this out to here, go. something like that. By the way, um, Q, didn't you say that you're going to see me in MP3?
If you ever send me an MP3 on Discord, um, I think as I've added you. Been waiting to hear, hear what the MP3 is like. It's a not sure where you sent it because you didn't send it to me uh, and you didn't send it in my server. Or at least I haven't received it. Okay. I need more. I need to play a loop. Uh, can I loop this? Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, I get it. Uh, can we loop this? Uh, scrub it. Um, a loop option here. I think. Sure, there's a loop option here. I've forgotten. Loops. Hold on, let me loop. So, ah, oh, there we go. Loop selection reaper. Transport bar. Oh, it should work. I think that. Try and map the scale out. So it's about as far. scale I'm using like it's I'm really bad with like half of these things like I can come up with things it's just trying to map it out
do I do? <laughs> I feel like five notes. It's like a pentatonic scale. Like a bad pentatonic scale. Not a good one. It is a pentatonic scale. Hold on. It is a. It is a pentatonic scale. Okay. What scale am I using? <laughs> Music scale finder tool. Okay. B. C sharp. That's A. That's F sharp. It's A flat or G sharp. Okay. A major or E major, A major, B major, B melodic minor, E Ionian. Let's go. B major, so that's B, C, Quite fit. Oh, not really. Nah, doesn't fit. Um, so what about B melod? Oh, wait, no, B major. I was looking at the wrong thing. B. Yeah, B major is the scale that we're going with. So E, yeah. F sharp. E sharp. A sharp. Mm. A sharp. Here we go. Here we go. 
Okay. That's the scale that we're probably going to use. Um, I am composing a flat smacking tune for a game. Not the theme. The theme is like the theme of the game is like if I go to the game itself. Like, there's a few themes throughout the game. Ah. It's more of the flat smacking uh, element that I want to use. Like if I just go right, title. <laughs> I go continue. Got this theme. I just wander around here. Got the battle theme. I can just like attack, win this battle. Oh, I'll probably be able to win the battle without doing anything. That's really inefficient. Let's see what one time the attack does. It's like one of the themes. We've got Belu's theme, which is a bit more. Uh... Let's say it's a bit more epic. <laughs> I like Belu's theme. This fight is pretty. has quite a bit of an epicness to it. I have items, that's good. Belu can be quite nasty at times. <laughs> Ouch. 
this shit was bad. I don't think I'm gonna win. Third poison? Nah, I'm, I'm dead. What? Uh, I'm generally using uh, Reaper. Hold on, let me replay this. Let's add a. Yeah, I've used it. I. The real power of Reaper is when I made this. <laughs> this is like what I did well with. Many people believe me, then they would of course be crazy. Of course you're crazy. Many people believe me, then they would of course be crazy. Get all those things. Of course you're crazy. Many people believe me, then they would of course be crazy. Of course you counter space. What? Counter space. Rate of induction. idea is an abstraction from misunderstanding the coaxial nature of light, which is a refraction of compression along the dielectric. Yes, and that of course is just a compound ether perturbation modality, because that's all the field is, and I define that in my definition. Okay. Insert new track, and we're going to item. Track, uh, insert new MIDI item. This beat here are you talking about? Because the other beat is like done. <laughs> the counter space beat is 
done. <laughs> like, that's already up on... That was up on YouTube last year. Okay, so... And let's at least add a uh, some effects to this. And um, we have recently. What have we got? We got surge. Let's try surge. Oh, see, it sounds like yeah, it does. That's it. Like triplets? This is... What the, this is not triplets. Huh? Do, do, do. Oh, it's because, okay. It was triplets, but it's not. What I was thinking of. Um, all righty. Do do do. That sounds like it could be something, eventually. Uh, let's actually add the proper effect, add a decent effect then. Uh, go with this. Circus one. That circus one isn't. Yeah. Nope. I like this one. 
interesting, but that could be used for the bass one. Oh, that sounds like... I feel like artificial one can be like in the background like Very flurfy. <laughs> <laughs> we need a flat beat. Just like... <laughs> like something like that. Oh wait. No, it has to be... F flat. What's F flat? So it'd just be... There is no F flat. <laughs> so... It'd just be something like... Closest that you can get to an F flat, like 
You, I don't play the banjo, unfortunately. So let's feel the sounds. <laughs> Okay, let's see how this Okay, let's uh part, let's make it part of this. You can try it without loss. It kind of is a bit of a walking rhythm in a way, but it's like I'm just trying to think of a funky sort of sounding thing. That's why there's brass or thing. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hmm, there's so many, like, there's so many options, it's just trying to work out which one's going to work best. Because there's, like, so many different things I can do with this. That I want to do them all, but, like... <laughs> No, I'm not going to join the two notes uh, there. Otherwise, like if I, like if I just, if I just join them like that, like so, and then play. It does, I don't think it will sound right. <laughs> Doesn't quite sound as good if I join them, so. <laughs> Some things sound really funny with this instrument. Well, I like it. <laughs> Yeah. Like, people have criticized this game for sounding too good, <laughs> right? I don't think that that is a necessarily a thing that, like, I, like, I want this game to sound good because, like, I want it to be a fun game outside of uh, just being a game of ha-ha flurfs, right? That's kind of what I want this, I want this game to kind of take itself just that little bit seri seriously enough to be a good game. But not too, obviously not too seriously that uh, it misses the joke. You know what I mean? I mean, which flurfs have a great time doing. Okay, so let's take a listen. <laughs> I mean, even like just this theme here is like the flat smack theme would kind of work because it, it has that sort of funky feel, you know. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, so. I'm going to create a few tracks, insert new track. This one is going to, we're going to insert. One, one out, because I love this one. It has a whole of, what was the things that, oh yeah, I looked at keys. Item Insert new MIDI item. This Alright, this should be all the way down. AC. to come up to like some of the I forget the notes They're funny be flat Oh, 
<laughs> well, you see. <laughs> All right, see you once. And I'm trying to think of. All right. Ah, oh, it's A. The A flat. Yeah, well, I'm going to lower the volume. I'm just trying to get the right notes for it. Sound right. Sound right, that's A. A flat. Maybe I need to do something else for that one. Maybe not. Maybe. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
over here bring this over here see how this sounds like just as a actually let's this is where we need the bass line i think like Let's just have this bit repeating. Insert new track. This one will have another surge. Faces. Go. Face one for now. Uh, insert 
new MIDI item. It'll be something like... Long track starts just before the rhythm. I do have a USB MIDI controller, but it's terrible. Um. <laughs> Uh, um, well, it's not terrible, terrible. Like, I'd have to like work out how to use it, and it's got quite a bit of latency on it. That's why I haven't used it in ages. Think of a walking baseline. Let me think of a. Let me think of a baseline. Well, sorry. Something like music. <laughs> I 
This is in the halfway. So this would be something like. I don't like the sound. Just check what the this is around the that would be right. I don't know if I'm using the right scale. Uh, we'll we'll find out. Um. All right, see ya, uh, Q. Okay, we're going to change the X for that. Because I don't like that. Oh, my God. 
Alrighty, um... How's it? Your rape. How? Um, maybe I'm not... Maybe it's just, like, coming... No, it, it sounds really bad on my end. Uh, maybe it's because of... Uh, how high do you have me? Actually, pretty low. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I had it turned down to, like, 9.3. You're sitting at 35%. Okay, maybe it's Discord or something. I don't know. Like, cause uh, and yes, I'll do all caps. Yeah, I'm just trying to think. So, Yeah, maybe I could do that. I thought it's gonna. There we go. Wait, wrong. There we go. That should be. Now let's. Let's. Well, let's see how this one. Hmm. I need a bit of synth for that. Oh, I sound a I hear it. <laughs> Where pop doesn't quite do it for me. What about the gliss one? Mmm. Feeling it. Have I gotten everything right, have I? <laughs> Good question to ask myself. B. I gotta go. I gotta do some more MSQ. What's the MSQ? My little addiction. Okay. Just Google search MSQ and you'll understand. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's try and figure out the, the synths here. This I must. The, the, because the, the synth, what if we do this? 
No, that's not gonna work. Fair and neat. Or oh, cyber flute. This sounds interesting. <laughs> now that sounds terrible. Let me turn down this thing here because it's only going to be bass line. Dreamy flute. I feel like this, this track, <laughs> is going to embody, just be the embodiment of, uh, when Flat Earthers try to argue. <laughs> it sounds like a track that British people play when they talk about Americans. <laughs> and our unhealthy addictions of sugar and salt and coffee. Maybe. <laughs> oh, my God, it's too fat. Well, we are. It just sounds really... Like, considering oh, that you... Have you ever listened to any, like, uh, cheap British rap? It's usually, like, some spoiled white kid talking about bullies. <laughs> oh, God, gonna go on a call out, out you. Gonna come out at you. Bullies. I ain't no fully. I forgot how it went, but it's the worst thing ever. Sounds like uh like this YouTuber like from a long time ago. These two guys went on America's Got uh not in Britain's Got Talent or something or X Factor and they got like embarrassed publicly and the British people fucking loved them. It sound like there's like this YouTube Yeah, there's this YouTuber from a long time ago called Misha. Um, who like was the definition of um cringe basically? Um, and that's how they got popular because everything that they did was very cringy, and like they're like really young. And uh, yeah, they they, they base. You had people like Leafy that were making fun of them and stuff. 
uh, yeah, they made this song called Pokemon Go Song, and that was like got 94 million views. And honestly, the reason why they got so popular was because people were making fun of them. If no one made fun of them, they wouldn't have gotten so popular. And I mean, it still seems like they make content, actually. So, you know, they're still, they're not going strong, but they don't seem as cringe as they used to be. They, <laughs> they uh, look like they've grown up, like, to at least being a teenager now. Like initially, they seemed like they were, what, like, um, eight years old or something? Now they look like they're at least a teenager, so, I mean, they've made... I don't know. They made, they've made progress. <laughs> oh, I have that video of that Rory kid on my desktop still. Okay. Oh, and I know it's on my laptop. I gotta get that charged, but I'll probably send you a compressed folder of that or something someday. It's pretty good. I do like how you said if clowns had shoes, if clown shoes had a song, this is it. That's kind of the point. Yeah, it was kind of like blaring in my ear a second. It was kind of like constant rape. It was pretty bad. Yeah, I, th I think it was just like uh, maybe something had gone screwy over to Discord, so I turned it down at least. It was probably that. Um, for some reason, my microphone kept on saying it was having connection errors, and then it stopped saying that, then it detected it, while also saying that it had driver errors and it could not detect it, even though it's showing up on my screen detected. Mm. So I don't know. That was a headache. So... So my solution was to uninstall the microphone um, physically and on the system and then plug it back in, then reinstall it. So I just had to update its drivers again. Even though it didn't need to have them updated and then it started working. I mean, it's a literal... It didn't actually update. It just said you had the latest drivers and then it started working. So I don't know what it was all about, but it, that was that. I have an idea. Um, let's go. Control C. Control V. Control V. Control V. I have an idea for the part. There. Network. Ah. Need to stop loop. Okay, let's see how this. That didn't, that didn't work at all. And now we go to something like
be something that I do. Let's create a new MIDI item. Is this better? Probably, I don't know. I, I don't know either. Sounds very clear though. I'm not sure if it's coming through my earbuds or through my head and microphone. That's fair. Okay. Oh, do you want to play a game? No. <laughs> Why not? I'm already playing a game. What type of game is it? A fantasy game. The game that I'd get you to play is a fantasy game. Hold on, this is sounding a little, um... Huh. Demonetized. Ooh, nuts in my mouth. Good. Better. Okay, that's probably good, I think. That just sounds... Let's see how this sounds. Um, where is that? That's It kind of has like this weird, it's like it has a weird element to it. I kind of, I kind of like it and I think it sounds like it's capturing the essence of Flat Earthers debating. This shall be known as the Flat Earth debating song. <laughs> And this one will be. This uh, this music should be royalty free, by the way. So, like, if you want to, like, hey, nice. If you want to, like, put Nathan Oakley, <laughs> like, just to this music, be my guest. Will do. Just. <laughs> 
These notes are all around the wrong, in the wrong order. Okay. sound quite right um It grows on you. Yeah. Uh. I didn't realise you could just uh, jump in. Oh yeah, that's it's been like that for a while. Like people don't take notice of it unless someone jumps in. I noticed you were using a uh, software synth earlier. Which one was that? I was using, uh, so I've just been using uh, this thing called uh, Surge Synth. Yeah, I couldn't get that to show up in my instrument list. What uh, software are you using? Um, that's a good question. Um... Turn it down a little bit. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize I was loud. Um... 
That's a good question. Um, hang on. I can't remember what I installed the other day. I've got on Linux, and I was just messing with stuff. Let's have a look. Because I'm using Reaper. Right. Um, Q-Tractor. Q-Tractor. Okay. Hmm. Because I know, I know that with Reaper, or if something's not showing up, usually I try reloading the uh, VST folder. Um, I'm not too sure about what might be going wrong, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, I'd just go add track, um, swap it to MIDI, mm. and then uh, go to check, select the instrument, and it just doesn't show up in the list. So I'm going to have to config. I guess I've got to configure the synth somehow to show up. But I'll work it out. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I, I like this track that I've been coming up with, uh, because it's going to be the track of debating later at this in Fleurfear. Mm. It, it's sort of like... Or being um, flattered for debating. <laughs> yeah, way, I'm trying, trying to think what the, what, what the style... Oh, what, what you'd call the style. It's like... Um, I don't know. It reminds me of some kids' TV show from many years ago. Don't know which one it is. Probably one I watch with my children. Hmm. It's you know what it is. It's probably too upbeat. That's what it is. Like maybe it wants to be slowed down. Okay. Well, I'll try one ten. The uh, see how. It Mm. I, I I prefer it at one twenty. <laughs> okay. I. Uh, uh, yeah, it does. I won't criticise your. It does. I won't criticise your composition skills because uh, mine aren't brilliant. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a sluggish feel, which uh, like. Yeah, sure, Flat Earth debates may seem sluggish, but it's just, <laughs> uh, for a game, you know, like, I, I prefer things to sound good rather than them sound, um, how do I put it? Sound... Appropriate. Yeah, sound too appropriate, if you know what I mean, like... Yep. Like, uh, when it comes to movies, uh, and, and... Movies, video games, all the whole lot. What they do is they do this thing, uh, and when it comes to sound design, called hyperrealism, where things that they do don't sound like. Uh, hang on, I'm trying to work out a good way to explain it. Like for example, if you draw a sword, uh, you expect it to make in a movie. When someone draws a sword, you expect it to make the shing sound, but that doesn't happen at all in real life. They're not going for realistic sounds, they're going for hyper-realistic sounds. sounds Indeed, that, yep. Sounds that people expect, not necessarily the sounds that uh, would actually happen. And it's sort of yeah, I've, I've, actually, I've, I've done some foley on a, on a Hollywood movie before, so... Oh, nice. Yeah. So this... Which was weird, because I'm... I was there as a photographer, and I was just an extra bod. So they said, "Come on, you can help with the foley." <laughs> That's quite funny. Nice. <laughs> yeah, uh, I haven't done much in the way of. Um, I, I have worked on foley before, uh, but just enough for nothing professional. <laughs> oh, you're doing a good job. I, I, I think I saw the game. It's like walking around on. Um, I'm not sure what the, what's the game engine using because a friend of mine's written some games in that as well. Uh, I just can't remember what it's called. Well, it depends for which game because I was ever, I've shown shown two different games today using two different engines. So ah, okay. one 
if it's a game that looks pretty 3D, that was using Unity. If it's a game that looks pretty 2D, that's a game using um, using Game Maker. Second one. Okay, yeah. That's using Game Maker. Get kind of a crazy um, isometric view of people walking around, yeah? Yeah, and part of it, it was a bit of an isometric video. Yeah. Because, um, well, it wasn't really isometric, it was um, a, uh, how do I put it, it's a certain type of projection, uh, cardboard projection, I think, or cupboard projection, I think. I think it's cupboard projection. Someone mentioned it, like, a few uh, weeks back. But it's not strictly 2D either. I've been really playing around with mixing up 2D and 3D. Yep. It's, it so is... I've, I've actually um, tried making a game to look 3D, but it's completely 2D. And the way I did it was I rendered out Dozens and dozens of sprites for the main character. Yeah. And of course, so what you're actually seeing is it just it's just swapping these um, 2D images very quickly. Yeah, there's been some games uh, quite like that. It's very interesting when you get into um, when you get into making games that are one style but also incorporate another style like uh for example if you're making a 2d game which incorporates 3d that becomes very interesting like uh sonic i think the old sonic games did that it was it was a 2d game but it had like a 3d background and that's what i'm kind of yep. also doing as well where oh just, didn't that use didn't they use that kind of parallax trick yeah whereas i'm just using a 3 like a 3D engine that's built into Game Maker to get to get that and using my own tricks to make it all work. Right. Uh, What's the scripting language in that? GML. Kind of like a... Uh, Is it a markup? It sounds like. No, it's kind of like... Oh, uh, Game Maker language. Yeah. That's what it must mean. Kind of like a JavaScript mixed with C Sharp. But mostly oh, the worst of both worlds, then. <laughs> <laughs> hey, C-sharp is all right. I yeah. like C-sharp. It's yeah, one but... of my favorite languages. Do you know, it's one of the ones I've not really um, written any code in. Um, JavaScript, yes, C, C++, um, Rust. I've actually written something in Rust. Um, assembly language, but not C-sharp. Okay. Assembly just looks difficult. Because in um, other languages you've got, or well, in the languages that I'm used to using, uh, it's rather easy to just go, okay, uh, here's a function, you know, call this function, and it goes into that function. Once the function is over, it returns to wherever it was before. Yep. It doesn't seem quite as possible. Well, it's it's probably possible, just not as possible in assembly. You got to do it. It's a whole lot more complicated, is what I mean. Yeah, it's essentially you're in total control of what's going to happen. Um, so you're responsible for everything. You're responsible for things going wrong as well, I assume. Yep. You know. So one of the real tricks of uh, coding is don't write bugs. <laughs> If you can nail that trick, you're doing okay. Yeah, I uh, try not to write bugs. Uh, although sometimes I'll write, write something and a bug will go unnoticed for ages. And then it will finally rear its head at, at the most random time. Yep. An example of this is uh, a bug that with Flurfia that I was... I gave it to AB Science to have a go at. They found a bug quite quickly, and I was like, 
Huh. That's a thing. I fixed the bug quite quickly as well. But it was just one of the things which I didn't expect. That's kind of what bugs are. They're sort of unexpected features, aren't they? Yeah, as uh, Todd Howard would say, it's not, it's not a bug, it's a feature. Just an undocumented feature. <laughs> yes, exactly. Gosh, I haven't used Audacity for a couple of hours now. I uh, haven't used Audacity for how... I don't know how long it was I opened it, put this in. But I don't know when I uh, used Audacity. It's, yeah, it certainly, you know, improved. I mean, when, when I first jumped in and I was listening to you trying out the different sounds for the bass line... It was pretty grim. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But it got better. Yeah, I, I, it's one of the things where it's sometimes quite difficult to come up with ideas. And that's where I often respect uh, people that work on movies and stuff like that. The people that can in seem seemingly instantly come up with a soundtrack or, or something. Hmm. And like um, what's his name? Is it um, Mitchell Moore? The um, have you actually seen his series he's doing on YouTube about composing? No, I haven't. Might you might enjoy that? I think it's, I think it's Guy Mitchell Moore. Okay. He's um, been involved Guy. in some quite major Mitchell Moore. Guy Mitchell Moore, film composer. That's it, yeah. He's got a whole series um, talking you through the process. Okay, that would be a worthy thing to look at. Uh, yeah. One of the... I was to say, that must be the sole reason I arrived here this evening, to let you know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, composing is definitely difficult. I have a lot of respect for Toby Fox as well, who will often, like, the Undertale, Undertale has, what, a one and a half hour long soundtrack, and it's beautiful. <laughs> and then there's also Deltarune, which I think the soundtrack of Deltarune is only about an hour in total. Um, hold on, let me go to... Delt, Delta Rune OST. It's oh, it's one and a half hours total hmm. for both for both chapters. Oh, I did not mean to click on that. But yeah, it's now I did notice that quite a few of the tracks in chapter two are quite short, at least com at least compared to some of the ones in chapter. Or at least compared to some of the Undertale songs, like quite a few of the Delta Rune songs are sh short. But, you know, Undertale, I think. I'll have to have a look. What are you going to. You sound like you're going to say something. No, no, I, I had the, uh, the pleasure of. Um, uh, I think it was about three or four years ago, I was at uh, Gamescom in uh, Cologne. And I got to watch the Blizzard Orchestra live. Oh, nice. It was absolutely awesome. It, it, for me, it was the best part of the whole show. You know, it made it worth being there. So. Hmm. Oh, Undertale is two hours long, two hour long soundtrack. That's a lot. Yeah. A lot of music. Especially for like an indie game. Mm. That's... I started composing a piece of music many years ago and I got stuck after 10 seconds you know it, I'm really happy with that 10 seconds but I, I'm just I can't proceed I can't get past that 10 seconds yeah often so... that is a big hang up that you get when writing music you start with start with something and you get like 10 seconds or 20 seconds in um, I've got songs like that that I've sort of started, some of which I've shown today, but I can't just 
work out for the life of me how to get how to make something more of it. That so makes I'm, me feel better. Yeah, uh, if I go, I'll load up a few tracks that I've got that I've done like that. There's a, there's a couple. Uh, so. Um, this one here, Battle 2, I think, is one. So, this one... Oh, you got a piece of scoring um, software as well, yeah? Yeah. So, this one here... I thought I was listening to a Commodore Amiga just then. <laughs> yeah, some people have said that it sounds really retro because of it's just using default MIDI sounds. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I can't work out how to get past that there. And I, like, I think it would be really... I, I really like the end bit. Yeah, I think it would be really good to have at the end of a... Um, end of the game... Because it can't, it actually has like some motifs from earlier on in the game, and I think it would be sounds a bit more upbeat than a lot of things. So, how about writing the outro? Yeah, mm. and then finding a way to join them together. Mm. There's a the possibility. It might, it might make you find a way of connecting, you know, connecting them. Mm. Uh, there's also. This one's another one. Yeah, this this is another one which I started but I can't work out. For a lot of this music, uh, you'll notice that there's motifs that come from other tracks in the game. And that's like where I do get a lot of inspiration. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, I, I admire what you're doing. I, I find it a real struggle um, to come up with the original piece of music. I've, I've done, a, you know, for myself, I've done some ringtones and stuff like that. Um, I wrote some 8-bit music that sounded like it was not mono a single track but actually sounded like it was uh uh what you say polyphonic but really it wasn't um but that's all in the distant past yeah so yeah it's, it's, it can be really hard work i don't think of uh, oh, this is something that i think i came up with fairly recently yeah, this is one that i don't think i know how to continue yet I'm not sure. Ouch. Not sure how to continue that. It's a nice sort of calm song, but um, I think there were some notes that didn't belong in there. Hold on, let me play it from the start and. S
Yeah, it kind of goes off key there, doesn't it, a little bit? Yeah, again, there's that so note right in there the, that just so I'm guessing shouldn't right, be in there. Right at the end, like during the where it sort of ascends, like the yeah, the, it, there's it's definitely one that doesn't belong oh, in there. I can't tell you what note it is because, um, yeah, that was you'll find it. Hold on, let me um. There's... Let me try and oh, can't work out which one. I kind of get what you mean, but I can't work out which one it is because <laughs> there's a lot of notes. Yep. Um. So the problem is, if you were to play it, but. Like, which is what I can see on the screen. I can't hear anything because there's a delay. Mm. So, or rather, you know, well, rather I should say, I, I've already heard it, and now I've just seen it play on the screen many seconds later. Ah, so okay. it's difficult. To, yeah. It's difficult to coordinate that. Um, it's also, I think, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know enough. I don't know enough about music theory to be able to give you a clue as to what to what's wrong. But just to me, it doesn't sound right. Yeah. Just right. There's a in both of those, the first section and the sec second section. At the end, there's something that's completely off key for me. Yeah, I'd have to like talk with other people, see what key they think is out. Also, uh, I think this one is even less developed than. Oh yeah, this is this is like. That's all I've got for that. That was okay. Um, there was a little bit of a, say, 16th of a note delay somewhere in there. Just slightly off. Mm. This is something um, that I think it's a little more developed. I need to work on the main loop of the song, though, I think. Yeah. Hold on, uh, you probably can't. Um, I'm gonna just turn this up because you can be probably. Here we go. Oh, I, I, I know what that sounds like already by looking at it. Okay, so you've got yeah, you've got a couple of odd chords in there, haven't you? The, um... Probably, probably Which, on the. I'm trying to think. Probably on the. Drawer. It's almost like you're playing. It's, it's like you know when you play um, two notes uh, that are adjacent to each other. Yeah, so it almost sounds like that. So there is. Okay. Um, let me try and. Oh. Uh. Ah. 
and they, um... That's uh, that one. That's the chords in that one. Is that what the one that you're thinking of, or? E oh, chords again. Oh, so um, oh, I should probably turn this this on. There we go. Is that one? And then there was also uh, the that's probably it. The fact that he had. Uh, you had um yeah it's probably that's probably it yep as i say i don't have sufficient training to be able to say what part of it is wrong it just kind of so it just sounds off key a couple of times, yeah. Yeah, I get what so, you mean. You know, like, it's almost like you know when you hit two notes with your thumb, kind of thing. You're trying to get a yeah. note with your thumb, but you actually get two at the same time on two whites. Yeah, that it sounds a bit, like, a bit like that. So, yeah, one that I'm pretty proud of uh, is this one here. Uh, this one is a track that I've gotten a lot further in than some of the other ones. Uh, it still needs a bit of work, but... Yeah, that'd work in a game. Yeah. It just has like a, um, a sort of feel that I like about it. Those are the main ones that I've had. These Ever are... so slightly Moroccan. What's that? Ever so slightly Moroccan. Mm. There's a few others, but I don't think I have the... I, well, I probably do actually have them somewhere hidden on my computer. Or online somewhere. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I think you're far more dedicated to this than I am. So <laughs> <laughs> this kind of thing. Uh, I suspect you persist with it longer than I do. Yeah, I. 
try to try to work on this kind of stuff like music can be difficult it's just trying to find the right sort of feel to it and sort of getting inspiration is also another part like inspiration just doesn't inspiration isn't something that you necessarily will find if you go looking for it it's more it will just slap you in the face yes yep. yeah that's true I yeah it's a bit like that when i'm trying to write functions for for games and stuff <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll stare at the screen but blankly <laughs> thinking how, how am i going to do this uh, you know? it's like when i whenever i do anything in a game to do with interacting like interacting for yeah. some reason is just the hardest thing for me to wrap my mind around and it's like yeah. okay where do i start maybe i should start by making the uh interact area you know the part that you can interact in yeah Once... have you ever like written a game like completely from scratch without really using a game engine as such um let me let me actually think about this because i've always used some kind of engine except when i've used python yeah, yeah. well i just well I, i'm not going to count pi game as a game engine I'm not counting so Pi really... game either. I'm counting uh, TK Inter, which is a Python UI that. Well, I wouldn't yeah, really count that true. as a game engine. It just manages the UI for you. And I use. Yeah, it helps you blitz stuff to the screen and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I made a tic tac toe game with that. Uh, I decided last year that I wanted to write Space Invaders from scratch. But I didn't want to look at how anyone else had done it. And uh, I just did it. I just wrote Space Invaders. <laughs> <laughs> um, made all the graphics. Um, and then, without looking at other people's code, I was reading that they were saying that, you know, when you do this in Python, whatever you do, don't try and make the bases get shot, you know, get the holes in. When, you know, Don't do that. It will never work. So I thought, well, I'm definitely doing that. So, and I managed to implement that, and that worked as well. So it's a reasonable facsimile of uh, Space Invaders. Mm. I'm actually wondering what this track here is. Well, the photon ain't... Oh, yeah, that's what that track is. <laughs> I thought it was like some track that I had started and not finished. Uh, there is... Oh, so here, here's one that I did a few years back um, for a course. Uh, took me ages to get past like the 20 second mark, but eventually I did. And I showed it to someone afterwards and they were like, and they said that it was better than like what a lot of people could do. And I'm like, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I was just putting okay. random notes down. So fire it up. I like it already. right yeah well done yeah i hadn't really thought of like, i managed to get that far like a minute and eight seconds uh into it and it's like i quite like that little bit at the end or at least that's one person said 
wow, that was pretty good. And I'm like, I don't know. Like, if you asked me to write something like that again, I would not be able to. <laughs> I just managed... Magic mushrooms. That's what you need. Magic <laughs> mushrooms. Don't They're do like... that. Don't take my advice. <laughs> well, I mean, it works for some people, doesn't it? Uh, apparently, you know, um, I don't do that sort of thing. So... <laughs> um... Yeah, I guess some, you know, it's, it's, it depends where you want to get your inspiration from, I suppose. But, um, yeah, so that was actually not bad what you did there. Mm -hmm. So what's the problem with it? You just got stuck or? Yeah, like after a while of working on something, I usually get stuck. I usually run out of steam for ideas. Right. Guy Mitchell Moore is your man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there is one. He gives, you, he gives you a way of thinking about it. Yeah, there is one tune here that I have a few ideas for and i want to use it later on in the game uh there's a particular battle that i'm thinking of using it for uh it's this one here Yeah, I like that little bit, bit of drum in there as well. It's quite nice. Yeah. The percussion part of it. Yeah, that was all right. Yeah, like using... I love being able to use drums in a fancy way where it's like a drum... Uh, where it's a drum fill, you know? Like, that's just something that I really like being able to do when I'm able to actually do that because I'm generally not good at writing drum bits. Yeah, that was definitely good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, you got something. Yeah, it was. All actually, we got to do is get it all together. Yeah, it was actually going to be the flat smack theme, but uh, now that I've got this, I don't really see. see I, I think this is much better suited. Um, the, the sorry, the, the flat smack theme. Yeah. So when you're okay. in flat smacking battles, um, there'll be a tune that plays. Uh, probably going to be this one or. Very different feel. <laughs> yep. Yeah, like now that I listen to this and contrast it to some of the other music, like it's so, it sounds like so much of a different feel. And I actually like that because it's meant to feel uh, weird. You're, you are. Yeah, it doesn't fit in with the other stuff you've done at all, does it? Yeah, so. you are. Like, it's not meant to be, like, an intense battle. It's, like, you're debating... Uh, like, most of the time, you'll be debating as a flat earther. You know? <laughs> yeah. Have you ever actually had uh, a one-to-one -one in real life with a flat earther? Yes. I've shared that experience then. Yeah. And a young Earth creationist? Yes. And a moon landing denier? Yes. <laughs> and that's all the same person? No. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I've actually had the experience of um, the, whole, the whole 
thing. Mask denier, the lot, all in one person. I thought, yeah, you know, I've, I've talked with people that are um, not so much mask deniers, but more mask efficacy deniers that say, um, I, I remember having this conversation with someone, it was fairly recently. Apparently the CDC had uh, changed their mask guidelines and they were saying, uh, why haven't we changed our guidelines over here on masks, right? Uh, basically, the CDC guidelines were: um, if you if you look through your mask and you can see um, you can see light coming through, then it's not good enough, right? Something like that. That was a basic uh, yep. outline of it. Uh, and uh, this was something that had changed a few days ago. And they're like, "Why have why haven't hasn't it been implemented over here?" And I, I think my response was, "It's probably due to something like the fact that." Over here, we don't have as many cases as... So it's not as big of a deal over here as it is over there. And he kind of gave me a sort of... Mm, that doesn't seem like a good thing. But then I... Um, a few days later, it was like... Uh, Jacinda Ardern to re review uh, mask uh, recommendations. It's like... Yeah, that's... No, I, it was more to do with Omicron... Uh, but, you know, I was still sort of on the ball with it, you know? Yeah. A little bit of life advice. Never ask someone else in the supermarket why they're not wearing a mask. <laughs> Never do that. Yeah, just wait for them um, to... Tried it a couple of times. Never ends well. What do they usually do? Do they get... Really, really, really up. It doesn't matter how polite you are about it. You know, if you say something like, oh, perhaps you've forgotten your mask. You know, something like that, you know. Because, you know, you can walk into a supermarket and forget your mask, right? Mm. Yeah, don't. Yeah, just whatever you do, just bite your tongue. Yeah, like, yeah. So for me, making sure that I've got my mask is sort of a habit now when going out. Like, I always... Uh, like, back at the start... It was one of the things where occasionally I'd forget it. But now I just uh, pretty much put it on before I leave the house. And, you know. Become a thing, thing of, it's become a, a habit. And I think that's what a lot of people do. Uh, a lot of people do forget it. But, I mean. I think, you know what I think we should do in the future? When it comes around to flu season... You go to the supermarket, masks. wear a mask. Yep. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I. Uh, you know, because what you're doing is you're helping other people. And if I feel sick <laughs> at all, right? If I feel uh, if I feel sick at all, then I make sure that I put a mask on. Yep. Because um, I don't care whether it's COVID, whether it's the flu, whether it's a cold. I don't want anyone else getting that shit. Now I try yeah, to that, stay that's... home if I can. But if I can't stay home, you know, sometimes I need food because food is a thing that humans need to survive. I put the mask on. Yeah. Yeah. I've been rather successful in, in, in acquiring food lately. That's good. Well, not really. Not for my waistline, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> I've been rather too good at acquiring food. Yeah, I need to uh, get better at acquiring food. Um uh, with the whole of, I think the whole of New Zealand is currently at uh, level red. Well, we're basically, we've moved away from lockdowns. Uh, lockdowns are no longer New Zealand strategy, and instead, its the strategy seems to be uh, just minimise, like get everyone as vaccinated as you possibly can, and just minimise yep. the uh, the risk of everything. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of similar to what they're doing here. They've they've kind of accepted that it's now an, it's endemic rather than a pandemic. Yeah. And We're stuck with it. Oh, I just noticed something coming up on my phone. Oh, okay. That was what it was. Um, but let's make sure we steer a clear, steer clear of anything to do with health advice because it's not a good thing on any YouTube video. Yeah. I... I don't, I've said it before, I don't like the idea of COVID becoming endemic because it sounds like, um, like a lot of the people that say, oh, it's not so bad, 
what they miss is the fact that long COVID is a thing. Right. Yep. And I do not want uh, to have, I do not want to have a COVID season every year. And it seems like with the variants, everything is just getting so much worse, right? Because we've got the um, Omicron BA2 variant. And Can't keep up. Yeah, the BA2 variant seems to be better at, at evading immune systems. Um, or, or something like that. Basically, it's reinfected people who have had Omicron. And that's kind of scary, given that how long has Omicron been around? Like, only a couple, only a couple months. To reinfect people within two months? That's... Well... It, what you've got to realise is the human population, yeah, for a virus, um, especially the main problem is is that uh, we have this virus delivery system called airlines, mm. right? And then what you've then got is you've got this. Um, so how many humans are there on the planet? Is it seven billion? Yeah. Yeah. Now let's just say that say one out of those seven billion people are infected at any one time it might not be as much as that but let's just just take that as a figure you've now got a billion experiments going on mm. think of it think of it like that there's a billion concurrent experiments going on yeah yeah and that's where the variants are coming from i'm surprised there aren't more well there probably are more we just haven't isolated those yet. Well, there are definitely more. It's just that variants uh, proliferate based on how... Um, it's, it's basically just uh, natural selection, right? Variants proliferate based on how successful yep. they are at infecting other people. So if you've got a variant mm. that... And, and, not, and also um, not killing all the hosts... Because if your virus kills all the hosts, your virus doesn't get very far. Mm. Well, it depends when it kills the host. If it kills the host before it can proliferate, then it won't get very far. But if it kills the host after it's managed to get around, then, yeah, it can get pretty far. Like, if if a virus, let's say, uh, manages to infect, like, 20 people before it kills the host, and then, you know, make may kill the host of all those 20 people yeah i mean then you've got you've got um an r an r number that's so high that there's no hope for humanity yeah you know we at, at that point there's nothing to worry about because the you know we it's inevitable that there'll be nobody left <laughs> when you get an r value like that so yeah, that, yeah that's just an extreme example but you get what i mean yeah yeah, and, yeah. like people are saying that the death rate is going to go down and i mean I hope the death rate goes down. Uh, mm. The problem is that the infectivity, like even if the death rate is going down, the infectivity rate is going up, which still drives uh, the amount of deaths that we get up. Like, uh, yep. yeah, the death rate, it's undeniable that the death rate has gone down with Omicron um, by the looks of it, I would say. But the death rate or the number of deaths is going up because the infect the infectivity rate is uh going up so scary times hmm. and so it's one of them things where it's like i hope that uh the death rate goes down but the only way to get a lower death rate is if there's environmental pressures on it to get a lower death rate, and there doesn't seem to be too many environmental pressures on it to have a lower death rate, and if there is, the and, and like, it will still kill people regardless of whether there's environmental pressures or not to get a lower death rate. Yep. Yep. Evolution in action. Yeah. Like, it, like, I know that the death rate isn't going to go up to, like, you know, 50% or anything. You know, like, that would... Then there would be environmental pressures on it to have a lower death rate, but um, it's currently, like, 
sitting around one or two percent. Yeah, but there would also be pressures on us to make sure that nobody bumped into anybody at all. You know, it, yeah. it, it, when you get to the, you can't take out fifty percent of the population of the planet. You, the number of you know, so many things would just fall apart. Hmm. Um, so in, in in say in America, for instance, um, you would be you'd have to kind of make a decision to abandon parts of the country because you wouldn't have enough manpower to run critical infrastructure. Yeah. Yeah. So you just have to say, right, well, we're all going to move or contract to certain locations where we've got enough manpower to keep systems running because that's the problem. We're, we're so mad. Like, you know, look at the food distribution system. Why, yeah. I mean, if you lose half your manpower, it just does, it can't work. You know, and it's not, you know, it's not a case of, oh, well, but you're putting out less food, but you're still putting out less. You, OK, you're sending less food out, but over the same surface area of the planet. So your de delivery runs are just as long, you know, you're just unloading less at the other end, you know, so it's it's quite, quite tricky. Yeah. Those, those numbers would be uh, really scary. I just had an idea. As well, I think someone said even 15% would be a major disaster. Oh, yeah, like if there was a death rate with 15%, like, um, there'd be that seems like it would be absolutely horrible, right? But again, it's one of those things where it's how many people does it infect? Because, like, as like, firstly, as the infectivity rate goes up, like, one of the things that uh that seems to have been a huge problem with COVID. It, it seems to have hit that sweet spot of having a, um, of the death rate being high enough to be an issue, but low enough so that people don't take it too seriously. Yep. And all of this with, um, uh, is it an organism? Kind of an organism, I guess. Um, that has no awareness and no plan. Yeah. It's just a thing that exists, isn't it? Yeah, I have no... It's not, even, it's not truly alive, is it? Even, even you know... Yeah, I have no definition. moral quandary with uh, wiping out coronavirus, <laughs> you know? No, nor I. Yeah. But people have uh, politicised the whole thing. And I mean, there were people from both sides that politicized it, but it seems to mostly be like people like Trump that uh, really played up the politicization, the politicization of it, you know? Why? I don't understand why anybody would object to looking out for their neighbor by wearing a mask. Yeah, which is what you're doing. Mm, like I can understand, like in the early days of the pandemic, like I understand, like in the early days of the pandemic, I objected to buying masks just simply because I knew that, uh, you know, that uh, health workers and all that would need them more than I do. You know. However, these right. days, masks are easily available. There's been a huge yep. surge of supply for them, so. You know, nowadays it's more of, yeah, buy a mask. There's no issues with, uh, with it because there's no supply side issues, right? Mm. In the early days, so it in the early, Yeah, well, in the early days, because there wasn't that much um, detail about it, other than this thing was serious, um, I was wearing a full carbon chemistry mask. Mm. You know, um that won't let anything in. <laughs> you know, so, um, it wasn't protecting anybody when I breathed out because it just had an out flap thingy, you know, when there's out outlet valves. Um, but uh, I just, you know, that's, I just thought, mm, I'm not going to take the risk, you know, so. And you, people were queuing up to, to get to the supermarket and no regard for anyone else whatsoever so, it was pretty bad i have an 
I have an idea for this, right? Look, take a listen to um, this idea. And I, uh, I'm just going to copy this, place it. So is anyone still watching the stream? A couple of people. Um, they don't seem to be chatting that much, and I can understand why. It's not like the m most riveting content on Earth. And it's probably, no, true. You know, like, it's one of the things where... Uh, main reason why I'm streaming this is because, you know, I have to get this done, you know, like, I've been working on this for ages. Yep. If you don't, if you take too long with the game, there won't be any Flat Earthers left. <laughs> yeah, they all seem to die from COVID. Uh, uh, MC Toon is um, debating PJC Net tomorrow, isn't he? So. Oh, yeah. Oh, by the way, did you see MC Toon's um, live um, stream of the rocket launch? Uh, I, from Florida. I, uh, yeah, I saw it come up, but I didn't really click on it because I was really tired yesterday. Yeah. No, it was tonight. Uh, well, my tonight, you know, so a few oh. hours ago. Okay. Because it, was, uh, it, got, it, it got aborted because... A cruise ship entered the exclusion zone. Oh. I guess someone's so going to have a talk. Uh, I, I, someone's yeah. going to get a talking to. Yeah, I don't know what it costs to abort a uh, rocket launch for 24 hours. Mm. Or postpone it, I should say. So. All right, I'm going to see how this sounds. Matt Powell is an inflatable banana in the backyard <laughs> that actually just goes so well with that. Just because everything seems fucked, it doesn't mean that you are fucked. Irony is when Clinton feels the bird from the shop winning. Uh, me, I'm gonna see. I'm just gonna what's think. The, what's the next one? Hmm. There are 57 of these cards. That means this could run for nine minutes without repeating. But some cards have randomized words as well. I've no idea what that means. Um, that's about the thing. That's a tricky one, isn't it? The one about Schrodinger's cat. Yeah. I don't know. I, don't know how I feel about that one. That, that was like some, that's something that's been in there for ages as well. Yeah, maybe it should come out. So, after what happened to Schrodinger's cat. Yeah, but when I was talking about, when I talked about Schrodinger's cat there, I meant like the actual uh, Schrodinger's cat. And I know, I, I, I yeah. I understand, and um, I, I get it. Not the uh, person called Schrodinger's cat. Yep. I did a joke about Schrodinger's cat in virtual reality once. Yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. We were doing these... Um, so I was doing work for a um, San Francisco startup. Uh, they were doing virtual reality. And I was working with the... Um, uh, one of the content creators, and I, I would play this character, and uh, <laughs> there was a, a box on the beach that said Humdingers on it. Yeah, and I said, "Oh, Humdingers! Is that the one where there's a cat in the box, but we don't know if it's dead or alive?" And the other person said, "No, that's Schrodinger's cat." You know, <laughs> so all that kind of stuff. That was uh, those. Those are good times. Well, I also, you know, that was good because um, I was allowed to write some of my own script for the uh, for the videos and that, do my own uh, ad libs and stuff. That's quite good fun. Oh, let's see how this goes. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I have an idea here for...
this. Have you ever done VR yourself? Uh, I've a little bit. Uh, it's not something that I've really gotten super into, mostly because I can't afford getting a VR headset. Not something that I, I can particularly afford at this point in time. I can't particularly afford... I don't have the space either, nor do I have yeah. the computing power. I mean, my PS4 might be able to run VR, but on my PC, no, I don't have the computing power. Mm. So it's not really a thing that I'm too interested in or too capable of getting at this point in time. Yep. I've... Mine paid for it very, very quickly. How so? Because I was getting paid to test their software. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, that so makes that sense. Made it... Yeah. All right, it's I'm gonna... great fun. It, f it felt like getting paid to play games. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to see how this... Uh... That sounds a bit better. That sounds more like it's. That sounds more like a natural transition. Maybe a bit of drum fill, and it would would complete it. Yeah, I can see the transition that you just put in there. On the timeline. That's the bit yeah. of the bottom, yeah? Yeah. I wanted to have something wacky, wacky-ish sounding there, so... See how this goes if I put this over. An old car horn or something. <laughs> That works. Yeah, that that works. Let's see how this all fits together. I shouldn't watch the video because obviously it's completely out of sync. <laughs> you hear the timing go off a little bit there. Oh, this that bit reminded me of something um in uh, reminded me of a thing in uh after the ad Aotearoa is at red to slow the spread of omicron Let so on this track there's a nice part to it but it's really early on in the song And that's kind of like, that remind, this part here in my song reminded me of that. Oh, not wrong thing I pressed by on. Might remind me a little bit of the woo 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 part in the Pandora Palace tune. I say never take advice from me when it comes to music. <laughs> so <laughs> I mean I included it because I I'll, I I want this song to sound kind of like currently it sounds a bit like a lumbering song which 
you'd expect to hear played in some mm. I don't know, like random thing where it's have you, have you ever heard the music to Pob? P O B? No. It's a children's TV show. Can you see you grab that on YouTube and have a quick listen? The theme from Pob. P O B. P P O B. Theme, yeah. Okay, I'm, I will only play a little bit of it because it's probably going to be copyrighted. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let, let me see. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, I can, I can see that. Look, there's another bit. Um. Okay, let me skip ahead. Okay. Was it that butt? Or there's a bit where you it's like a, I can't quite describe it. Hang on, so I'll find it myself. Tube of the U. Oh my god, come on. This is what happens when you've got about sixty tabs open, everything slows mm -hmm. down. Oh, so you're a high IQ skeptic like myself then? Uh, 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 in English, please. High IQ skeptic. I'm not sure what it means. It's what, just cause I've got more tabs open. Yeah, like if you have a lot of tabs open, you're doing high IQ skeptic research. Oh right, okay. Let's see. Oh, bod! No, bod, not bob. Sorry, I got the whole thing wrong. It's, is it, I think it's bod. Yeah, yeah. It sort of goes. Did it? Did it? Yeah, yeah. Did it? Did it? Yeah. Try that. So, Try bod and friends intro. Yeah, bod. B O D. And Let's see. Uh... Today I got those mixed up. Here comes. Yeah, I can. You see how, to me, that's that's the kind of, yeah, that's kind of flat earthish, isn't it? So. <laughs> yeah. Like, it is one of those things where I guess my music mentality, like, I have a very. No. <laughs> it may not seem like it when writing music that I have a serious music mentality, especially with some of the uh, lyrics that I might write. But I do actually have a very serious music mentality. Uh, you can ascertain this from, like, some of the songs that I've uh, written. Like, it's very. It's not. The music isn't very fun. Um. Like, it's nice to listen to. It sounds good to the ears. But, but it's not very, f like, fun. Like, when I say fun, it's, I mean, like, what you've just shown me there and what I've been writing with um, this. Like, the music seems to be, follow more uh, stringent patterns. Like, one thing that I wrote, uh, I think it goes like, Goes, it goes. How does that go? It goes.
Yeah, like that kind of follows a more, um, I guess, serious. I thought that was going to turn into the Proclaimers. <laughs> and I would walk 500 miles and I would walk. No, it doesn't quite fit. <laughs> Don't do the accent. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of, if you... Like, yeah, yeah. In terms of tempo. Like, it is a four-chord song. A while song, ago, I decided to... Yeah, so a while ago, I decided to um, learn to sing opera from <laughs> a couple of different Italian operas, so... So I learned how to sing, you know, Dorma, the big one, um, and um, the other one is La Donna Immobile. I... So, I recently found a song that uh, has a falsetto part. And oh, I can't do those. I mean, it's like falsetto is fairly easy to do. It's just merging falsetto and um, the normal range that becomes rather difficult. Uh, so the the song goes. Um, I'll take my headphones off because I need to sort of step back a little bit to not but sit back a little bit to properly but the song goes a bit like this that's too bright What the? Give me a second, that didn't work. Something like that. I feel like I did terribly there, but I can never unhear that. <laughs> did I do that bad? <laughs> no, no. It's uh, I couldn't even attempt to do something like that. So <clears throat> yeah, for some reason it didn't like quite feel right in my voice. But listen, I gotta go and hit the sack because it's really late here. So okay. uh... I'll continue. Writing music for the next hour until I've got something. When's done. the next? When's the next section when you can actually do some of the game engine? Um, I'll probably not be streaming much more of it. Um, maybe later on I'll stream a bit more, but I'm because I'm getting back into making videos and probably doing debates next month. Uh, then. All right. Okay. Who have you got coming up? Uh, I'll. Okay, so the next video will actually be about a video that I made about a month ago. It's an, sort of an update and what I was actually doing in that video. Uh, mm -hmm. I might have seen it. That should be fun. Uh, it's the video where I say, when, it comes, when I say about Ken Wheeler, uh, that I, I was wrong, Ken Wheeler was right. Um... Spoiler alert, Ken Wheeler is not right, and like the entire video I was bullshitting to see what people's reactions would be. Uh, particularly Ken Wheeler fans. I was wanting to see what their reaction would be. Are you, know. you saying Kim Wheeler? Yeah, do you know who Ken Wheeler is? Mm, not sure. Um, bullshit artist of the highest order. Uh, like seriously, he, he is... A flur for... No, he's Flurf adjacent though. Like a lot of his ideas resonate with flat earthers. <laughs> Flurf adjacent? Is that like the curved adjacent of the the, <laughs> the non physical horizon? <laughs> yeah, um, King Wheeler is one of these people that uh, he like he is. Some people call him the tattooed Buddha. Uh, some. People say that he's the only person in the world that actually understands physics, 
which immediately like seriously whenever anyone says that there's that this person is the only person that understands a thing unless it's something personal like um uh this person is the only un- person who understands how i feel or something like that you know if it's something like or that how i arrange my sock drawer yeah then that is like something that i can be like oh yeah but if someone's claiming that they're the only person that actually understands physics or if someone's claiming that they're the only person that understands uh programming or something then i immediately become suspicious it's like a war- war what if it's sign. richard Feynman? what's that what if it's richard Feynman? Uh, it's even oh, I mean, apart from the fact that he's dead, you know, but you know, <laughs> like it's just like someone, like when someone says, "Oh, this is the only person that understands us." It's like, well, I don't think that's true. Like, if if it's something that is like, if you've got a field of science or whatever, the and you're the only person that understands it, then you're probably bullshitting. You know, like if you are a. Uh, like, let's say that you're a, um... Or, yeah, let's say that you're uh, Andrew Wakefield. You're the only person that understands the danger of, uh, you know, a certain medicine. And then you're probably bullshitting, you know, like, uh... Well, that would also be irresponsible. Yeah. Like if because if something were to happen to you, then that knowledge would be lost, right? Yeah. If you what if you what you're saying is potentially if what you're saying is credible, then there will be other people with expertise in the field that will agree with you. If there's no one else with any expertise in the field uh, that agrees with you, then you're probably wrong. Because mm. it can't be peer reviewed. Yeah. And that's the, <laughs> for <a> start. <laughs> that's the important thing. Like. Right, peer review. Like people say that Ken Wheeler is, uh, you know, he he knows about everything there is with the Reese, uh, with the universe. It's like, no, he he doesn't. He's just bullshitting for, you know, views, money, clicks. Hmm. Um, I smell chakras coming along. Yeah, like same that thing goes with, thing. same thing goes with uh, Deepak Chopra. You know, like. He's a con man of the highest order as well. Like, there's a lot of people that don't that pretend like they're really good scientists, but they're not. You know, Indeed. You know, I, I, Listen, must go because otherwise I won't get enough sleep. Okay, take care. Okay, be cool, man. By the way, very important to realise. If you're still there. Yeah, I'm still here. It's planar walk. <laughs> it's planar walk. I made my name. I decide the uh, pronunciation. <laughs> <laughs> my lenses on my Hasselblads were planar lenses. <laughs> my, they Listen, they might have been pronounced planar. I just called them planar. So It's my channel. I'll give you that one. <laughs> I, I decide the pronunciation. <laughs> I know, I know. I'll give you that. I haven't got the right to to tell you what's correct. Yeah. Plain I'll walk. Yeah. Where's the exit button? Kick me out of here. No! That's the disconnect uh, button. And they've, they've found it. Wasn't able to trap them in the room forever, so... Okay, let's think of how we're going to go about this. Hmm. Hey. Ahoy, hoy, how's it going? How are you doing tonight, sweetie? I'm doing well. I. You want to take a listen to what I'm working on? Yeah, sure, that's the reason I stopped by. Okay. So here we go. Sounds nice.
So that's what I'm current, <laughs> currently working Sounds on. Sounds like Teddy. <laughs> it's meant to be um uh, so essentially in the game you that's going to be the uh flat smacked theme oh okay that's a, that that sounds like you've just been flat smacked so yeah <laughs> yeah like it's it just it <laughs> embodies oh, was, like, no 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 that's that's the exact sound um those children were making whenever um, Nathan Thompson tried to end up the flowers was, no, 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 no. Was, uh, like, the tune, the thing was, uh, or the synth I used for that was, uh, something called Die, I, I, I. So I think it's trying to say, Die, Die, I, 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 Die, I, I, I. That sounds more like, Yeah, but it sounds like, I, I, no, I, no, I, no, 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 that is fair. Oh, hi, hi. <laughs> That's the, the your video. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the next part of how it's going to go because I've like I've got I liked this particular part here. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I like that part. I can just yeah, I like that part. It has like a sort of sort of uh, uh, sound. Dopey sound. Yeah, and that's like, like the whole s- the whole song kind of sounds a bit dopey, and that's kind of the yeah. point. <laughs> like derpy, that's the word. Yeah, derpy. <laughs> it sounds kind of derpy, and I. I mean, that was the point when uh, writing it, so, hey, if it sounds derpy, then mission accomplished. Yeah, it does sound derpy. I mean, it's like a good derpy, though, not like a bad derpy. Because mm. there's a good derpy and a bad derpy. That's a good derpy. <laughs> I mean, I am the commander of the derp squirrels, so but I'm a kind of an author... author, author <laughs> I get words. Authoritarian. Authority on the word derp. Oh, yeah, I'm an I'm I'm authority of derp. I'm a derp authority. <laughs> I don't think of, like, I had a... something good earlier, but I can't remember it. That's what happens when you translate things. It's like, like, I, I was just playing, like, this part of the, uh, I basically had this soloed, and if I turned the loop back on. And go back to here. So I was basically playing this on repeat, and just you know jamming out to it. That's a triangle hit. That's a triangle hit, isn't it? What do you mean? Is it? Um, when you're hooking a 32-bit, well, 8-bit to 16-bit sounds, there are, um, I think only six different types of sounds you can make, which oh, well. is the triangle, which is the high peak sound. Oh, this, one of them? Like, okay, so symbols a lot of people don't realize this, right? Um, 8 bit. The only reason why 8 bit sounds the way that it does is because it's essentially. They didn't have. It was limitations of the time that they had. Yeah. You know, um, the. The synthesizer. It's just. I'm talking about the synthesizer, the, the type of synthesizer used. Yeah, because like they could have made like the Mario games could have sound sounded like a lot similar to they do to how they do today if yeah. they had more storage space. <laughs> yeah, if they had more storage space, which unfortunately they had very limited storage space due to um, technology constraints. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, they could have went all out and included another entirely new um, PPU chip, which would allow for that storage space, but they didn't want to uh, spend too much money on different, you know, devices, and blah, 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 yeah. et cetera, et cetera. So, <laughs> so when it comes to uh, the, so when it comes to 8-bit, it's more of the way that it sounds really, it was up to the artists uh, that created it. Yeah. Because, you know, there were things that you could do. Like, that, that's why MIDI is a thing. MIDI is basically a way of uh, making things sound 
how do I put it? Um, Retro? Retro? Yeah. <laughs> but MIDI's a good file format for um <laughs> different music. Yeah, like it, or MIDI, no MIDI, not retro. It's more of um, making things sound like music without needing to take up too much space. That's the point of that's yeah. The, well, yeah, it's point of highly compressed. Yeah, yeah, it's highly compressed. Because if you just save the notes that you're playing, well, then you take up less storage space. A lot more space. Yeah, you save up a lot more, take up a lot more storage space if you actually save the notes instead of converting well, no. it into a MIDI format. No, if you save the notes, them, what I mean is the notes, uh, which is MIDI, rather than the um, entire wave. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, to, instead of a wave format, yeah. Yeah. Like the waveform, the... uh, is that takes up a whole lot of space. MIDI takes up a very tiny amount of space. Yeah, I mean, MIDI can take up to, like, in the kilobytes, if you've got a short enough, um, got a short enough piece of music, it can take up literally kilobytes. Yeah, like, uh, let's... How about Byte? Some of them are take up bytes, like those eight-second clips you have in some games. Take up literal bytes of space. I mean, like if I, Not I, even I, a kilobyte. <laughs> Which is awesome for the um, game developers, because they can put more, you know, actual stuff in the game instead of having to worry about, you know, all that music taking up all the space. Let me... Um... Why a lot of games had, like, eight-second, ten-second clips. I just repeat it over and over again. Let's see um, where one goes. Properties. Uh, that one has only takes up uh, 14.9 kilobytes. Yeah. And that's a... If I were to convert that to MP3 or even, uh, or even WAV, then it's going to take up a hell of a lot more space than just that. Yeah. Yeah, and then you can also um, layer on three different three four five different midis together and it still won't take up that much space yeah oh so the um the mp3 file i believe this is the mp3 uh let me check yeah this is the mp3 file the mp3 takes up 2.11 uh, megabytes yeah and so or 2.11 megabytes which is ridiculous yeah whereas the <laughs> uh, the midi sequence takes up 14.9 kilobytes it's it's a big jump in uh space yeah, yeah now but the issue with uh midi is that there are limitations like you can't make it sound as fancy as you want yeah i was about to say that actually that's exactly what i was about to say you can't make it sound as good as a um mp3 or a wave format file but yeah because and um from what I understand, MIDI's the lowest you can get, as in quality slash uh, quality to um, file size. Yeah. MIDI is the smallest, and uh, MP3 is a little bit better with its compression, but still not as good as Wave. Wave is pretty much the best you can get when yeah. it comes to quality, but when it comes to space, MIDI is the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Julian did uh, point out that if you have a selection of uh, samples... Uh, and include a sampler, you can go for MIDI and have it sound amazing. And yeah, that's basically yeah. what I do with uh, this. Is uh, It's not so much samples, it's more of waveforms that it just um, take, does a whole lot of alterations to and have, have a whole lot of effects. And you get something like, you know, I'll play it again for Julian, who is, uh, has just joined us. So uh, let me undo that and not this.
The Simi said, God, the sound, salt and sounds like a really bad trip. Yeah, it kind of does, actually. <laughs> like, that's kind of the point, though. It's not supposed to be a... You like the splash symbol and the walking bass? That... Yeah, the splash symbol. Like, and Kiano says, lack some actual flurf vocals. Okay. Here's what I'm, here's what I, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to be uploading, like, once I've gotten this song finished, it will be uploaded to my channel, right? And probably some gameplay of Flurfy as well. Or maybe I'll, should I put it on the Hoi Hoi Games? Or, no, I'll put it on my channel. What I will do with it is I'll have a thing, feel free to add Flurf voices to it and there'll be like like in a way it'll be promotion for Flurfia, but it'll be a, just a way to sort of get people creative because if you add like imagine adding Nathan Oakley to this like oh god <laughs> like um I'll, I'll try and make Let's it public go domain go what's that let go down go boom boom let go down go boom boom <laughs> Casco down, go boom boom. Like, you could vocode, like, Nathan Oakley or something to it. You know, like, do whatever uh, you want. Or, uh, or, It'll be um, open. Hey guys, guess what? I'm taking a first grader. <laughs> Nathan Thompson. <laughs> yeah, like, just. Like, it'll be one of them things which it will be the. Um, like, just overlay it on top of Flurf Debates. It will be the Flurf Debate song. Like, <laughs> oh god <laughs> just Nathan Oakley repeatedly saying guess go down go boom boom guess go down go boom boom guess go down go boom boom <laughs> how about getting a license for conspiracy cat songs I mean I don't think that there's really a thing that I don't think you really need a license like even today I, I was like Take my headphones off. Uh, let's take them off fully so I can put the proper energy required into it. And now we can't hear it, so I can see my shop to get some pies. What I see up in the sky Is it a plane or is it a bird or is it Nathan O'Claire having a turd We got chemtrails on earth Chemtrails on Venus that come out of a plane Out of my penis we got chemtrails on earth Chemtrails on Venus that come out of a plane Into the air that we're breathing, Shop to get some. Went to the shop just the other day. I saw some old man, he was eating hay. It was Dell, he was out of the shed. Looked at me, and this is what he said Have you seen my friend Gab? We were having a beer and having a laugh. The men in white coats took him away. As I left, I thought I heard him say, Kimchels on earth. Kimchels on Venus, we come out of a plane Out of my penis, we got kimchels on Earth Kimchels on Venus, we come out of a plane Into the air that we're breathing, yeah They come out of my penis, yeah Shouldn't see kimchels ever at all Sitting through them off of my bathroom walls Cause we got kimchels on Earth Venus, it can matter a plane, and I'm not 
Well, that was entertaining. <laughs> yeah, that's the uh, chemtrail song by Conspiracy Cats. Yeah, Conspiracy Cats has some great songs. Awesome, awesome songs. Uh, <laughs> even though he's not the best singer. I mean, he's a great singer and all. You're a great singer. You, I love your voice. You have a great singing voice. I have Thank a you. fucking singing voice. <laughs> to be fair, like, when it comes to singing... Oh, you meant more of his remixes with actual voices, oh, yeah. like I wasn't prepared for that. Most of his remixes, uh, now, no fault, I, I don't have any problem with Conspiracy Cats in his remixes. I do like, um, I'm not prepared for that. However... Yeah, I love that I'm not prepared, I love that I'm not prepared for that. That was a great one. However, I wouldn't use them because I think his, um... Like a lot of his tracks, I may be wrong, but I think they he gets them from like uh, YouTube Studio. Like sometimes I'll play something from YouTube Studio. Don't get me wrong. Like uh, I did a thing, like a Karen thing, where I I used YouTube Studio's uh, music selection, open public domain music selection, and like it's good. It's just not something yeah. that you want to do for any... Like, I wouldn't do it for anything serious. And, like, Conspiracy Cats yeah. isn't using it for anything serious as well. Yeah, he's not really using it for anything serious. He's just using it to joke around, you know? And yeah. That's have why, fun with it. That's why when it comes to the songs that I've written that have been posted to my, to my channel, main ones being... um, got two good songs posted to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> them being uh, Counter Space Word Salad and it's not I gas pressure, one. it's atmospheric pressure. They, I love both those. Those are great. Yeah, they were both all original because, you know, I wanted to do something. Oh, there's a third one, but I didn't write it. <laughs> there was, um, <laughs> that was the uh, induction one or ball sphere. Oh, yeah, that one. I remember that one. Yeah. That was a good one too. They're good songs, right? Uh, yeah. And like, could I have maybe done better? Yeah, maybe. But like, I I am proud of them, particularly because I didn't just go ahead and um and, and you know grab some music from YouTube Studio. Now I don't have any. I want to be clear. I don't have anything against Conspiracy Cats for doing that. Um. <laughs> Because I guess it's pretty serious, like a third theme hobby game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything quote unquote serious, like a quote unquote fourth theme hobby game. <laughs> I prefer to write my own music for this game, or at least write music <laughs> that uh, I have per- use music that I have permission uh, from the creator to u- use, or music that was directly written for the game. Well, anything that fits those things. Preferably music that was written for the game, whether it be by me or someone else. Yeah, yeah. So if I went and remixed something for your game, you would use it? <laughs> Maybe. Provided I learned how to use um, all the software and all the other stuff I'm not good at, but yeah. <laughs> I don't remember how the thing, how a thing goes. It's like a... Yeah, I'm, I'm not the type of person that you would rely on for anything art-based because I have no, 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 no skill in that whatsoever. Oh, but by the way, have you seen my new avatar? <laughs> um, well, I'm looking at it right now, I guess. Um... No, 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 no. Yeah, that's <laughs> not my new avatar. Okay, it's Let not... me, um... Go back to your channel. There we go. Um, let me see now. Video. Yeah. There we go. Not that everyone can see it, but I mean, I can show it on screen if you want. You've got five seconds to say, "Don't show it on screen." Five, four, three. Go ahead and show it on screen. Okay. <laughs> This I made. This is fully custom made. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I made this myself. So, this took me five hours, by the way. 
I don't want to say. I, hmm? I took someone else's hoodie and someone else's pants and edited them a little bit because I'm not good at actually creating my original stuff, but it's a highly edited <laughs> hoodie and a highly edited pair of pants. Oh, did you see I've the edited. game that I sent to you? Not yet, actually. I've been to look at that. I've been meaning to look at that. Yeah, it's a game that I made in 48 hours. My god, I was tired at the end of those 48 hours, but it was worth it. <laughs> you know? Like, oh, the game jam one. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I've been... Essentially, it's been something where I have done three years, right? The first year, I made a game that I wasn't too happy with. Right? It had its ups and its downs. Um, but I, I wasn't He's here. <laughs> oh, the, right. you're obviously seeing one of the uh, screenshots of it. Yeah, like the first game had its ups and its downs. The second game, however, it had its. That was a game that. To an extent, I was fairly happy with because it was. There were things that could have been done better, but you know, like that's what happens when you create a game. There are some things that could be do, done better, some things that could be done worse. But that was a thing. This year's game was something that I wasn't too happy with the lack of challenge in it. However,. I was happy with the feel of it. Very happy with the feel of it. Very happy with the... um, What's I'm going to call it? Uh, Very happy with how it felt and very happy with how it... uh, Played, I guess. I used Unity to play. Okay, good. Nice, Unity. Are you going to share your screen? Playing it? Sounds like you've... uh, what I can do? Okay. <laughs> We're getting some gameplay. I have to uh, first open it. <laughs> now, to an extent, there is a bit of difficulty in it, as I found out earlier, but... Um... The, uh... But yeah. This is why, like, I do not like... Uh, giving people hints when uh, they play games because, you know, I, I like people to have the full challenge of the game and to like to know where to make improvements later in the future. See, you can see it on my screen. Yep. Let's go full screen for this. Looks like they're doing the pee dance. <laughs> <laughs> This is actually very nice, so far. Oh, it's 3D. Oh, nice. Yeah, it looks like it's 2D, but it's actually 3D. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, interesting. Oh, enter key. Okay. It shifts the letters of the alphabet. So C through would become. There's. <laughs> Divide the paintings, but only if the letters and their name have been shifted by one. Open the eyes. So that would be. Let me see. Oh god, so I'm gonna have to do cypher shit now too. Dude. Yeah, it hasn't been shifted by one. So that would be SQ something. CQS, so A. A R T art. Okay, that wasn't creepy at all. (laughs) 
that's what I like about people playing this game because it's one of the things where it's like, oh, that was a thing that happened. That was definitely a thing that happened. Whether they find it scary or not is another question. You see, oh god. <laughs> V-Q-R-S-T-U-V So V-D um, Yeah, that's not shifted by one So activate only if they're shifted by one That looks like it was shifted by three Two or three Yeah, there did need to be a little bit more of A um, little bit more of an explanation there a lot of people. A seat. Oh yeah, that's one thing that Flurfia needs to have a water. I want to see what happens if I do shift this, but activate it. Because that's T. That's uh T R trees. That yeah that's. that's uh... Okay. Oh, I see what you're saying now. It's just being shifted at all. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, so what happens if I do activate this? Waited. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's um, that's interesting. I interesting. It's the only word that can come to mind. <laughs> With Daniel Pratt hiding. <laughs> yeah, I can't see the chat right now, so anything they're saying about me, I have no I mean, idea. They're <laughs> talking about like having a water heater in a game. Oh god, it's a water, a sentient water heater saying, please save me from this Pratt. <laughs> <laughs> Is that space weighted? <laughs> That's face waited. <laughs> the skeletons watch. The knight defends. The height advantage. Easy. <laughs> Storing everything else. Obtain the moon key. So wait, does that mean? No, uh, no, uh, uh, never mind. <laughs> say hello to Zumi for me, please. I was on a on a stream with her earlier. Who's that? Um, that was on Slim's stream earlier. It was uh, Penis Fish the Seaman D. Oh, oh god, Penis Fish. Hey, Pearl Fish. <laughs> god, my arm is getting tired. My keyboard's like way over on the desk. <laughs> uh, well, good thing this doesn't require too many different <laughs> things. Oh, there goes the skeletons that were mentioned earlier. <laughs> <laughs> About a key. Take fall key. Let's see if there's anything else down here. Nope. Can <laughs> I jump off the balcony? No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> I can't jump to my death. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. I had to make sure that the collision boxes were working for everything. Yeah. <laughs> Let me test that collision real quick. <laughs> yeah, the collision. Don't worry, <laughs> I, I tested it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, games are fun when they have no collision, though. They are. <laughs> oh, there's the other key. Monkey? I got the monkey! Yay! I got the monkey! <laughs> Am I finding all the secrets so far? Yes. <laughs> I'm good at doing that. <laughs> yeah, there's a secret monkey, basically. The monkey! <laughs> I'm avoiding the tentacle monster for now. 
Fine, I'll go to the Tunnel Monster. Tunnel, tunnel, tunnel Monster. If I can, these trees might be in the way. No, no, they're not. And it disappeared. The Tunnel Monster could disappear. What? <laughs> Okay, a giant red door that is and the painting that has blood on it, it looks like. <laughs> a bit monkey was a fake, just a guy in a fursuit. <laughs> just a guy in a fursuit. <laughs> Huh, this game seems really well put together. Yeah, for something that was made in 48 hours, anyway. <laughs> yeah. And the music's really atmospheric and really good. Oh, there's a picture of a door. Interesting. <laughs> As journalism would say. Exactly, that's what I was going for. <laughs> <laughs> will take care car e of you he loves you his eyes love you <laughs> love him he's here open the eyes love him he's here love him love him <laughs> so i've got to open the eyes Whatever that means. The trees aren't crowded there anymore, at least. Oh, no, they're still there. They're just... Yeah. <laughs> Perspective is a thing. Perspective. Perspective is a thing. Yes, that's what I was about to say. Perspective. It's all about perspective in this game, too. It's all about perspective anywhere. Any time you do anything, it's about perspective. Yeah. Oh, nice. Huh. Saw something earlier. Love how that D renders. Oh, it's just clipping. Yeah, it's clipping to the camera. I okay, I like that artwork. <laughs> <laughs> it's very Venom esque. <laughs> that was all the inspiration for it. So that was written in 48 hours. Nice. Yeah. That was nice. <laughs> I can turn that off now for time being. <laughs> yeah, no, it says, I don't want to be that guy, but the world look in this game looks flat. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is kind of flat, isn't it? I think that was kind of flat. Like, just no, everything was, was flat. Like, even the person yeah, even was the flat. Trees. The trees, even yeah. the person, the trees, everything was flat. If even you want to play... The... You want to play that game for yourself and get a bit of a spook? I, I, I like the game because it get, does give people a bit of a spook when they play it. It didn't suit me, but then again, I've seen a lot of weird shit in my life, so... Yeah. Here, I'll give them the link for it, for it sweetie. I... Ah, oh, it's already in the um, description as well, so if people want to. But, like, uh, what was said about it uh, from one other person competing in, in the game jam? They said, nope, yes, nope, yes, that 2D game is so nice. Super well polished for a 48-hour jam. It feels like it was well sculpted for the time you had... Um... Pretty something how much you got done during that time. Uh, love the mixed mediums. They work so well with the uh, lighting and thick outline sprites. Super well done, guys. Should save the EXE and whip it out during a Halloween party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I played a lot of uh, I played a lot of horror games in the past, so that was like no, non phasing to me. Maybe yeah. because I I played a lot of because it's pitch black right now where I'm at. 
and that was like, oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> creepy, but yeah, like not, not jump, not yeah, jump scary. It wasn't like the thing is, it's not meant to be jump scare horror. That was the point. We're going for um, a sort of more of a psychological horror game. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, I can see how a lot of people who are uninitiated into the horror game genre could be kind of put off by it. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Like, we didn't have enough time. Like, if we had 72 hours, it would have been so much better. Like, yeah. yeah. It would have been something. No, it was. Hmm? No, it was beautiful. Art art wise, it was uh, was absolutely beautiful. But, yeah, yeah, I mean, the, the. the the song the music playing in the background was perfect for the atmosphere of the I would give it a perfect five out of seven. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. When it comes to um, when it comes to Flurfia, it's not going to be uh, quite that horror much. Doesn't won't, won't have that yeah. much horror in it. Uh, it sounds like Flurfia on the other hand sounds more like this. <laughs> <laughs> more, derpy than, yeah. more derpy than horror. <laughs> Though yeah. if you added a horror song into it, it might, you know, increase the... <laughs> oh, I mean, there you have heard one of the horror songs in it, right? Uh, if I remember correctly. I probably have. I probably have. But I, let with me, my memory the way it is. Let me <laughs> go to the... Um, but no, for one put together in 48 hours, that was seriously fucking great. Excuse my language. <laughs> That's all right. Excuse, excuse, my, excuse my fucking language. <laughs> this is the horror song of Flurfia. Currently just called Uncertainties because I don't know where it's going to be put in. <laughs> Good atmosphere. Good atmospheric vibes. I could see that playing like in a haunted house type scenario. Hmm. Certainly. Like you open the door, the that plays, and then you, you know. I don't know whether Penis Fish is referring to this song or <laughs> or the game. Awesome. That's, that's an awesome song. Yeah, that's an awesome song. So like Penis that. Fish says this song is pretty. Previous song was pretty music. The uh, game I've not loaded yet. As I'm listening to you peeps. Yeah, basically this song here. I'm still working on it. It's basically gonna be when you get into an argument with someone about flat earth and flirtier, uh The song plays. So I'm going to actually, I'm gonna actually solo this track and turn on the loop so I can get some ideas for it. Hold on, let me um, get back in the vibe of the song itself to, uh, to like, you know, get an idea here of. But yeah, I've switched teams. I'm not uh, Yellow Hunter, I'm not a Green Lantern. What? Sorry, Nick, me too. Needed. I said I switched teams. Um, I'm now a yellow lantern instead of a red lantern, a green lantern, because Sordak need to um really needed my help, and um, she's down a lantern, so uh, I I had to go to yellows, but okay. they're fine. The, the the yellows are fine. I mean, yeah, sure, we use fear to um rule the rule the, rule the galaxy, but but it's fine. <laughs> I'm used to being a yellow lantern now. <laughs> 
All right. I mean, how I talk about how, how I throw a beer comes out of the hero's heart. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds more like drunk tell oh, trying man. to make a point. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. Or sounds like the background music that Daniel Pratt's always playing in his head while he's trying to make a video. Yeah, it's that like penis fish. She's like penis fish. Oh, I got something there. That's a good thing about me recording this because then I can go back and listen to my ideas. Listen to it. Yeah. It up, did 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 up, no, 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 Hey, I'm the se only semen demon around here. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, semen demoness, but still. <laughs> no, I'm not a demoness. I'm just a little mouse girl, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so we uh, unsolid this and go. Yeah, so it was. You can just have a, uh, um, you can have Bell just in the background saying no, no, no. <laughs> the semen demon ness. Yeah, that works. Okay. Now I'm not changing my name because I have I go to way too many family friendly streams and I don't want to expose them to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I would I I would do that, but like I said, too many family friendly streams would would just automatically boot me if I came in with that name. <laughs> that is, yeah, that is fair. <laughs> That's why you've noticed none of my names on YouTube has ever been anything gratuitous because of that. I don't. Yeah, yeah that's fair. Because I have had I have had very good ideas on different racy names, but I got a many 
Oh, it's a family friendly streamer. <laughs> yeah, that, that is fair. I'm just gonna go shift, that should select. There we go. Delete. So now when I go to here, it should be. So that would be something like I could probably delete from here. Let's try that. Control Z, I want that to be at there we go. Let's see how this sounds. Okay, let's see how this bit sounds. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you still um I feel like it still needs sounds too smart and needs more derp. <laughs> I mean, it's hard. You know how hard it is to uh, add derp to songs, right? The only yeah. song that I've successfully made with derp in it was the Elio song, and it's I'll because I literally right. that's because I literally had a song that uh, literally had a thing that said. Derp, 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 derp. Oh, there it goes. Uh, okay, so. Okay, let's see how this sounds. <laughs> <laughs> That's derp step. <laughs> derp step, I love that. Just imagine your damn little trap trying to make your <laughs> Yes, Kino. <laughs> Hold on. I, I, that's easy. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, it would just be nothing exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see, I like to actually make music that at least sounds something like music. Like, to be fair, I could, I could, could just uh, do what Will Wood does and be like, music, music, music. You call this music, music. Oh, wait. Music, music, you wanted music, here's music, music, music. That sounds like music, 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 you call this music, music. I, I can't, how does he manage to play this? Music, 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 you call this music, music. Kano, I'm just especially um, good at pronouncing different names. I'm just especially good at pronouncing things, but <laughs> that's like my only gift is pronouncing things correctly. <laughs> that's why it kind of pisses me off when I hear like Team Skeptic or FTFP mm. something mispronouncing mm. everything. Like the name Craig is Craig, it's not Craig, it's Craig. <laughs> Keanu? Wow. No, it's Kina. Key? No. Or it could also be Kano, but Kino would sound more appropriate. Keanu. Oh, Keanu. Okay, Keanu. Not Keanu, but Keanu. <laughs> You know. Yeah, it's spelled Craig. Not that difficult. <laughs> if it has an A in it, it's not A. Eh. Yeah, Kino. Mm -hmm. 
Just that simple. <laughs> Yeah, I love the der derpy tuna in the tuba, tuna. Wow, tuna. I love the derpy tuba in the background, the tuba sound. <laughs> okay, and then we can grab the... Copy items. Paste. Copy, paste. Just like Gary Wadenga does. <laughs> <All right. laughs> oh, shit. I feel like it needs another section, like a sort of... <laughs> Pearlfish is saying, haha, this is perfect. It's dirt-tastic. It's dirt-tastic. <laughs> like I said, I'm kind of an authority on dirt, so... <laughs> yeah. Like, it's the best thing that Derp can come up with. Yeah. Oh, when I said that, I immediately thought of, um... You think... Well, it's the best that we've come up with. What, you think ideas spread because they're good? You, no, they spread because people like them. Oh, I can also um, show you the other track that I came up with today. Um... I managed. I basically made the death music not so annoying. Okay. Because it used to be. What I'll do is I'll, I've got it here. So this is the old death music. So that repeating would get quite annoying, right? Yeah, that would. Yeah. The solution was this. Oh, it's much deeper. So you see how it's a big difference, right? <laughs> like just adding like oh, yeah. an extra section makes all the difference. Like the first one, like it sounded like it was it always had some kind of tension in there. 
However, this one kind of relieves that tension, making it less annoying. Yeah, definitely helps. Yeah. Just all those little tiny, 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 tiny edits makes everything so much better. Yeah. Because I remember listening to it for a while and being like, yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> and I wrote the <laughs> damn thing. Yes, Kino, I'm an actual derpologist. I can I can excise the derp from anything, and I can input derp as well. <laughs> and Pearlfish says, yeah, I prefer the second version. The first one reminded me a bit of a certain song from original Final Fantasy VII. Which song would have that been? Yeah, I don't remember any songs being like that. Or you could, you know, just do the Mario route and have the da 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 Sound as the death. Never mind. <laughs> previous one reminded me, Kia says no. Uh, Kia no says, previous one reminded me a bit of Go to 80 Breakfast Radio Edit. Okay. Yeah, I. Go to 80. Okay. Let's <laughs> go. Goping? You're goping for the soundtrack? You're goping. Okay. Go, go ahead and go go for the soundtrack then. Yeah, the, um, the main thing that, sh like, when it comes to Flurfia, the main track that will sound yeah. like an actual song from someone else would be the, uh, would be one that was based off Aerith's theme. <laughs> no, that's the wrong one. So I could have that song. We're talking at my heartstrings playing that. <laughs> so that's like basically I took this chord here and made this out of it. I basically saw that chord and played it around with it and was like, oh, this sounds nice. <laughs> oh, nice. That sounds beautiful. And now there's like a whole four tracks that I've made based off it. <laughs> That's that was beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Now, the thing is, when that track is playing, <laughs> you can get into flat smack battles, so <laughs> that track can be contrasted sometimes with... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you can't think 
of anything that's completely different and contrasting than that, can you? <laughs> This is a song that gives me diabetes. This song is giving me diabetes somehow. I don't know what. <laughs> I feel like this track, like even. I feel like this track might it, because I'm gonna I'm gonna release this like um. Probably like sometime around the game, um, like the version point two coming out at least on Discord. I'm I'm gonna drop this track on my uh, YouTube ch channel, just as like because I feel like it would become a meme, like if not from Flurfia, yeah. just from like the track itself. Like it's so meme worthy. No, I would never use Dave's Nebulizer. No, not in a million years. You cannot pay me to use Dave's Nebulizer. No, no. Pearlfish, no. I'm timing you out for that one. I'm. <laughs> What's Dave's Nebulizer? Is it... Allegedly Dave, allegedly Dave is now nebulizing his urine. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now you see why Pearlfish is in timeout for five minutes. <laughs> no, no. Allegedly, Dave. Allegedly, Dave. Seriously, um, basically, what happened was he ended up having respiration problems as well as other, you know, issues, and then he decides. Oh, the doctor gave me this nebulizer with this stuff in it, you know, that helped me out. So I I'm going to ask the doctor if I can keep the nebulizer. And the doctor said, yeah, sure, keep it. And it's like, so I filled it up with my urine, and now I'm using it. And I've never felt better now that I'm inhaling pure piss. <laughs> <sighs> so not only is he, um, not only does he want to drink it and use it on his skin, he's now breathing it. <laughs> Jeez. Maybe but. maybe he's getting these respiration problems from drinking his urine. Yeah, that could be a possibility, but no, the urine's helping. No, it's not, sweetie. It's the, that's why you're having health problems. <laughs> yeah, uh, you see, like, there's a reason why we get rid of urine, right, from our yes. bodies. <laughs> it's because it's yes, a waste it's product. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> the body's like, no, I don't want this in my body anymore, so I'm going to expel it. That's not saying, oh, this is good to drink. No, no. Yeah. Riley Thompson. Oh, God. No, Riley Thompson. <laughs> oh, God. Pearlfish. No. <laughs> Uh, I can't. Oh wait, can I? Oh no, I can't undo time. <laughs> I like how you can't undo time. Now. It's like yeah, you can't. <laughs> like you can unhide. You just have to you. wait for five minutes. Like you even just have to I wait can't for five undo time. Time out. Like if someone gets timed out, I cannot undo it. I just have to wait for that five minutes. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, uh, but... Yeah, will you listen to Woo on the internet or your own body? Obviously, Woo. <laughs> I can't believe you haven't heard of the whole Allegedly Dave thing yet. Cause, oh, God. I've heard, of, the like, I've heard of the original, like, drinking his own piss, but it seems like he's gotten mainstream attention from that. Yeah, he has. He's gotten a lot of mainstream attention from it. I... Which really pisses me off because but nobody should be getting... Yeah, yeah, I, I know. I, but then again, it's better to be pissed on than it's better to be pissed off than pissed on. But yeah, hmm. unless you're into that stuff, I mean, I, I don't care if you're into that stuff or not. But not your own, please. Yeah, 
<laughs> I'm gonna add a another section here. Um, yeah, Creaky mentioned him. Yeah, Creaky Plander did a video on it. I think he was actually the first one to do the video on it. So this and the and the bunker is going to be covering that on Saturday. So <laughs> insert new MIDI item. So I'm thinking of this. And this MIDI item a bit. Uh, this is not long enough. We need it to be like that long, and the loop needs to come out to here. Yeah, back to the music. Please, let's talk about. Let's not talk about Dave drinking his own fruit. His own fruit juice. His own fruit juice. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do like the. Ooh. Oh, go. Oh, so, something like. Yeah, that fits. Let's see how this works. Yeah, that works. That sounds nice. Um. Okay, so let's um, see how this... Let's see how this... That is nice. That is awesome. Yeah. That's perfect addition to it. Yeah, this will be like... This will... This track will become a meme. Uh, because... Yes, yeah, so well, I will haven't heard a, a track that captures derp this well. Like, <laughs> yes, that is just... That's derp in music form. <laughs> <laughs> that is just music derp. This derpiness, derp so, music, derpy. derpy looping derp, back derp. to the beginning of the song, uh, so probably like this would probably be the loop. Um, if I don't make any more, uh, but I want to make it like a two minute thing because, like, I mean, you're gonna be flat smacking people, so let me play from yeah. here and add the loop. <laughs> Sounds looking bad. So, I, th I think it sounds alright. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you mean the flat smacking victims will be stood there after two, two minutes? Um, well, given that they can't really move away when you're flat... Given that you enter a battle and they're virtual characters, yes, you can say that it's human rights abuses on virtual characters. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm going to try and make it like about two minutes-ish. Um, th- it's just going to become a meme. <laughs> like, yeah, it's just going to be a meme, yeah. The fact that we're having so much fun with this song, like, it's not, yeah. a pat- like, it's not the best sounding s- song in Flurphia. <laughs> it's a good sound. It's It's a great song. I love it. Yeah, it's like it's kind of the equivalent of Thomas the Tank Engine, you know, the do 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 do, you know. Like it's not <laughs> like it's it's not like it's a good song, but it is a good meme. And well, like, it's a good song, it's yeah. Good song. Songs don't and like the thing is, songs don't have to be terrible to for them to be uh for them to be memes. Like you got. What? Um, Megalovania is a good song, but it's also a good oh, meme. Megalovania is awesome. Um, Megalovania is an awesome fucking song. Uh, what's that, that one? one. Um, uh, Old Trousel? No, there's another Old one. Old There's another song that goes... Oh, you just rickrolled us. You just rickrolled us. <laughs> you just fucking rickrolled us. It's been a while since I played that. I can't believe you just rickrolled us. But then again, it makes sense with this song. Da-da-da-da, <laughs> you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and hurt you. Never gonna make you cry. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna tell a lie and desert you. I, I've heard a version of it that went something like this. When no strangers to love. Oh, God. Sight. Oh, yeah. What was it? Something like that. It's basically- mashup. It's a mashup. I love mashups. It's basically the chord progression for um, Smells Like Teen Spirit, but it is the exact yeah. same as Never Gonna Give You Up. So it's like. Strangers to love, you know the rules, and so do I. A full commitment, what I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from any other sky. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Gonna make you understand. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. Never gonna turn around and desert you. Never gonna make you cry Never gonna say goodbye Never gonna tell a lie And hurt you But yeah I remember from an But did you know Did hmm? you know that Hotel California And Through the Fire and Flames had the same chords And what? Through the Fire and Flames and Hotel California Had the exact, or on the same um Scale so, um, DJ Cumberbun did a mashup of Through the Fire and Flames in Hotel California that sounds completely fucking epic. They did it the other way around. Um, they did the, the chords from Through the Fire and Flames with uh, the lyrics from Hotel California, and it's awesome. I don't know the lyrics of... I 
I don't know the lyrics to Through the Fire and Flames. It, it doesn't have lyrics. It does. <laughs> it does? Yes. It I does. It a, I thought it was one of the songs that had, it was just an instrumental song. <laughs> it's called, uh, here, here's a link to everyone in the chat who wants to listen to it. Later on, after the stream, of course. But it's called, um, Through the Fire Flames of Hotel, California. <laughs> Through the Flaming Hotels of California, rather. On a cold up, up ahead. On a cold wind, on a dark desert island. In the time for the light, in flames of desert, gentle rain, we ride towards the fight. The dark oh, places yeah, fall them that. down, and the times tough ride. And the sound of evil laughter falls around the world tonight. It bits. <laughs> Yeah, it works. It actually, works. The, the reverse way works too. <laughs> so now we're flying, we're free, we're now. I'm just trying to remember the chorus. It definitely does. That works far too well. <laughs> So now we're flying, we're free, we're free before the thunder. Uh. So now we're flying, we're free, we're free before the thunderstorm. Ah, uh, shit. And so but yeah, that works we're flying, well. we're free, we're free before the thunderstorm. Ah, uh, shit. So yeah, something like that. Yeah, I might works, actually, it works perfectly. <laughs> I might actually try uh, playing that, like, uh, or properly learning that. That'd be awesome. You should do, You should totally <laughs> do it and upload it to YouTube, and you'd have, like, um, millions of people watch it because people love mashups. Yeah. Um, I mean, how do you think TJ Cumberbund became such a huge YouTuber? Just... Yeah, I... Uh... Like, way different. I've had like a few mashup ideas, like so there's like Earthwind and Ozzy's Check Secular Magic Pies. I write sugar and hot buttermilk. I'm bringing sexy back. Oh then mother. I don't know how the rest of the lyrics, but uh, you know, you know the song. I'm bringing sexy back. Yeah. But yeah, that worked actually really well together. I, I mean, I heard the um, through the flaming hotels of California, but that sounds actually better. <laughs> <laughs> that actually sounded better than the through the flaming hotels of California. Yeah, it's like. It, it really depends, like, um, I'd have to go through, like, the entire song and remember, like, basically map it out, like, work out which, work out which chords work best. Um, there's also, there are a few songs which I've been learning. Um, Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a song. Okay, I'm gonna. Like, I'm, a total, I'm a total slut for karaoke, so you'll have to forgive me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do a song, right? And then I'm gonna end up the stream because we've been going for like seven and a half hours. Yeah, six hours ago, yeah. <laughs> this is a song which. What, wait, which one do I want to do? Do I want to do. Okay, I need people to choose. There's one which I have to like yell, like I'm gonna have to be yelling at the mic at, at a point. There's a song which 
I have to go falsetto for. And then there's a song which uh, is just... Oh, there's a... well, there's two songs that um, I have to yell in, in it. Um, so, do we go for a yelling song, a falsetto song, or just a regular song? Which one? Regular song. Regular. I'm gonna let chat uh, decide. Cause I, I like the, I do like the more interesting ones that aren't regular, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, then, then the yelling songs I can always it's modulate. It's three thirty a.m. here, so no yelling. Um, what about Kia? What do you say? <laughs> yelling. <laughs> okay, so we've got one person saying regular. Pearlfish. Uh, not wanting yelling, um, and Kia no saying yelling. Uh, what do I system do? Of a down. So it means system of a down. Uh, it's not system of a down actually. Um, and then if it's yelling, there's two songs. There's one that has more yelling and one that has less yelling. <laughs> okay, so, I, I changed my vote into the falsetto song. You've changed your vote to the falsetto song. Yeah. It's a song you don't want to make a choice. <laughs> okay, so oh, the f- Wiley's top that you're a pearlfish anyway, so you've already voted. <laughs> okay, so if we're going for the falsetto song, then <laughs> the, the falsetto song is a song that you're going that I know you like. Uh, I haven't sung, I haven't actually sung it before on this channel, at least not the whole way through. Has a. Okay. Uh, that will give you a hint. Um, I'm going to mute I've you heard just... It. Yeah, you've heard it. Go ahead. I'm going to mute you just so that... Um, just in case you decide to sing along. Uh, oh, I can mute. Yeah. Alright, so here we go. This is a song called I, Me, Myself.
wish I were a girl. Lately I've been wishing on five foot five and wearing nine. I'll be a pathetic nature and instead of criteria. Just a hunk of hunk of burning self loathing. My evidence, my witness, my pronouns aren't your business. Shit, Lord, I wish I could be a girl in that way. You wish I could be a girlfriend, boyfriend. No, to love that, no, not yet. I wish I could be a girl in that. I wish I could be a girl in that. I prefer it if you would use I, me, myself. I'm a free enough, I'm free enough to fucking die. Identities are equally invalid. Don't you think that there's a chance that you can live without it? And all identities are equally invalid. Don't you think that there's a chance that you can live without it? All identities are equally invalid. Don't you think that there's a chance that you can live without it? All identities are equally invalid. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I knew that you'd like that one. I forgot his name already. Will, 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 Will. Will, Will Wood. Will Wood, yeah. yeah. I, I play that song to a lot of people, and sometimes, if, it's, if the people are younger, they usually know the song, but don't, may not know the name. Uh, um, in fact, I was talking with someone... Uh, who helped me make the game I played the song and they were like what is that song called and I said I mean myself you're welcome <laughs> and it was an older version of the song it was the version that had the because there's actually a couple versions of, versions of the song there's the one that goes um, and now you're eating prosthetic meets your anesthetic criteria pathetic, pathetic scene you become aesthetic say my name like a slur and I've been called worst uh, but then there's a version that goes Lately I've been wishing I'm five foot five and wearing nine, uh, wearing nine nine, wearing thigh highs. Hi guys, I'll be a prosthetic meets your anesthetic criteria. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's a couple of different versions of the song. I prefer the version that goes, uh, that goes. My pronouns aren't your business, shit, Lord. <laughs> love that. Yeah, lyric. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> my pronouns aren't your business, shit, Lord. <laughs> I'll say my pronouns are he, she, my, or she, he, she, <laughs> she, her, she, her. God damn it. I can't even do it right. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's a fun, really fun song. I heard that song and I was like, this song's just great. I can see why so many people um, that so many trans people listen to Will Wood. <laughs> like it seems that, uh, it seems that most... Like, there was one person who was non-binary that introduced me. Well, there was one person that will... I've been introduced to Will Wood twice. The first time I forgot about it, the second time I remembered. Uh, but the first person that introduced me to Will Wood was... Um, was a uh, trans guy. second person was a non-binary person. So. Yeah. Loved the Skeleton Appreciation Day. <laughs> um, that's the song that goes, Bones, 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 let me see your bones. I don't want to know it, the feeling follows song. I find it funny, though, that uh, Megalovania was memed to death, yet Bone Trousel wasn't, yet Bone Trousel is more of a meme-worthy song. <laughs> it is. Yeah. But anywho, with Please. that, do <laughs> you have any final words? <laughs> No, that's it. It's for um, come on by uh, that's a bucket thirty three on Saturday night, nine thirty Eastern, uh, Standard Time Pacific. We'll be going over allegedly Dave again, with, over the piss drinking and nebulizer. <laughs> with that, yeah. 
We're going to have fun. <laughs> yeah, so with that, I'm going to end up the stream. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do the kind of shouty song, but I, I'm in a singing mood, so I'm going to do the kind of shouty song that's not too shouty, right? So we're going to just load up the uh, things for it, <laughs> and then I'll end up the stream after the song. Uh, but it will be the end, draw, uh, end card. Uh, what's the song? Um... It's not... It's not that song, but I'll go to there because it's a um, guitar. Thing. Um, this one's called Marsha. Thank you for the dialectics, but I need you to leave. Oh, I remember this one. This one's funny. I love this one. <laughs> the three of a... Wait, three? What? The three of a... I'm confused. <laughs> okay, so let me just... Okay, here we go. So I'll switch over to the I'll switch over to the thing and uh, no outro. There we go. And I'll mute desktop audio so that way Charisma can sing along. Ah, sorry, uh, Zumi can sing along <laughs> if she wants. <laughs> and then. All right, here we go. Marsha, thank you for the dialectics, but I need you to leave. They could describe an illness you'd like if you define the terms of your illness. You could sing a pretty melody like a black canary But a crow didn't know the smell of carbon monoxide And how many years have you known that couch That could have quilted you in the throes by now? You draw a line in the sand where it ends and you begin But the tide rolls in, so who knows? Oh well, and little identity never hurt nobody But lately you've been fucking too, too much on yourself So how many milligrams of you are still left in there? Cause back in my day we didn't need no feel good pills no psychiatrists, we just drank ourselves out to death, and god damn it, we liked it. Who makes a call? What's a symptom? What's a flaw? Could it be both? Well, I suppose that's an answer. Would you give up your humanity for just a touch of sanity? Cause God knows it's not like it's cancer And good news to the purest, they discovered a cure For the symptoms of being alive It's a painless procedure with a low rate of failure But very few patients survive And a little conformity never hurt nobody But lately I've been worried that you're losing yourself So how many milligrams of you are still left in there? Cause back in my day we didn't need no feel good pills and no psychiatrist No we just bled out in the baths and god damn it we liked it What's my prognosis if the studies show that Diseases in the eye of the beholder Tell me so it goes We depress to impress I guess And layer after layer to get off our chests It's cold out now, we can take it off later Better safe than sorry if we both know the danger So, doctor, can you run another test? Got a feeling that this time I might just pass it well, if you raise the average head, we all sing when the bell curve rings and Lyrics symptomatic of the way we think Our harmonies don't sink, we can change our voices Of course, some condition of a diagnosis Well, back in the day, we didn't need no pills and no psychiatrists What can I say? Take no evil, no evil wills A moral nihilist, I said Back in the days of lobotomies, junk therapy A mad scientist, oh, don't you make me waste my breath God damn it!
It's your identity at stake Does aspirin kill you with the pain? You're not your thoughts, you're not your brain You're just the character you've made Up in your head, down in your heart What seem like separate body parts Come together to believe They're you and not just chemistry Is not the way that you were raised Not what the advertisements say Not what you pay for, what you pray for What you wanna watch you say I see a tendency to redefine disease by what you need And I'm afraid I can't prescribe the diagnosis that you seek But something tells me that you need Forgive me now if I can speak But something tells me that you like it Something tells me That you need To be sitting there flipping through those old issues of people Okay, that's the time. See you next week.